Good morning, friends. How are we doing? Good morning, Diana and Leah. Good morning, friends. How are we doing? Oh, let me turn my Good phone morning, off. Diana. She she has me on repeat, guys. You guys want to hear that the whole time? I had my phone on. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Probably turn this one down. They got Adam Lambert playing in the background. One of his uh, older songs. I sure did not hear it, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Diana, you said it's some red. Got some more red there for you, Diana. (laughs) (laughs) Just a couple. And then, <laughs> so I think Miss Linda and I are planning on uh, just playing with our jelly prints, like making things out of them or altering them. Yes, because I have way too many I need to finish. So, yeah, that's what we'll be doing, just making things out of them or altering them today. And I, I know me personally, I, I needed to step away from jelly printing for a while because I got too much of a stash of prints and I haven't done anything with them. Yes, I have some completed, but my need to complete is way bigger. Right. I'm finish, finishing up my breakfast sandwich because my husband did not just want eggs and toast. All right, Poppins, we're done. Good morning, Miss Brenda. All right, let's move this stack and start. Oh, I want to show you guys. Carrie the Crafter made a folio to store his stencils in. So I made one and I have all of my small stencils in this one. It's an accordion style, so it opens on both sides. So that's I like very- that. I would have to make mine much taller if I do something like that. Well, this one is only for the small ones, so it's for those little bitty stencils. No, I don't have many of those. <laughs> and then this is the six by six. I've already filled it up, so I got to add to it, which is why I left this little strip. So yeah. I just have to cut more papers and add the rest of my six by six. So they're all in here. And I kept the little name of it, but I'm sure it eventually that'll go away. So you can just keep adding in all of your six by sixes in one spot. Now, Carrie said he does his by designer. I just did mine by size. Yeah. If- if I come around to uh, doing some myself, uh, I'll probably have it uh, more based on like pattern, unless it's like Tim Holtz, and I'll keep it in numerical order because I'm OCD like that. Yes. Talking Tim Holtz, I, um, I'm going to be playing with mine this morning. Yeah. Still never. Uh, out of the package so I was gonna say you still got those pristine you need to get those worked on I um 
I bought them at, who was it? I got them on clearance. Uh, that looks like Joanne's. Okay. It's either Joanne's or Tuesday morning. Um, it was Joanne's. Tuesday morning here is already closed. Oh, yeah. I don't know if ours is closed yet. It's been looking like it was going to close for quite a while and then wasn't sure if it was ever going to happen. Yeah, so Sean went in and I found those. He needed some fabric and I'm like, oh! Oh, and you got some good sets there too. Detour, yes. I was like, I will take those. Oh, I, Okay, so let's see. You got the professor or the whimsical professor. Or whatever it's called. I like that one. Mm -hmm. And then I think I have that one. That one I don't think I have. Got a kitty cat in it, which I wasn't yeah. a big fan of that one, but that one have tickets in I that one has so um, much glare, I can't tell what's this. Oh, there's sayings? Yes, yeah, just different okay. sayings. And um, you could turn them into ticket forms. Oh, and it gradiates from uh, dots to diamonds. Your yes. Simple. That's fun. I like that idea. And then the, the balloon, happy birthday, um, birthday hat. And then you got that stencil. That's fun. Half so of them, nice. I like them more for the stencils than I do the stamps. Yes. Like with those packs, unfortunately. I me don't too. think he paired them properly, personally. But that's um, Like, I like these stamps, but the other stamps Same. I probably will never use. Yeah. Good morning, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Oh, and then I had already had um, this one. Oh. So my extra one is going into the 500 subscriber box. There you go. Good way to get rid of your doubles. Yes. And then um, if I come across any other duplicates i will probably do happy mail oh that'll be fun someone will just get a happy mail yeah uh wendy's asking when he got those great deals did you just um, get them or yes these um i got like the friday before we went on vacation so like a week and a half ago, two weeks. Darn it. Now I got to stop in at my local Joann's. Sean said, you're spending your Disney money. I said, I am your portion. <laughs> oh. You're just like, if you're going to keep complaining, I'm going to keep spending your portion. That's right. I'm not spending <laughs> my portion. <laughs> so... Oh, perfect. These are going to be perfect for ETC. Wendy, you know. You know I'm all about sharing with Sean until he steps over the line. <laughs> Wendy, poor legend. <laughs> <laughs> he can handle it. He's a big boy. I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Evil woman. <laughs> I am pure evil. <laughs> I was waiting for the mwahaha. <laughs> I was like, she has to follow up with that. <laughs> evil woman walking down the street. Evil woman. So talking about evil, the um, my favorite character of all time Disney is Mary Poppins. But below Mary Poppins is the um, the queens. I like the evil queens. Oh, yeah. So I got a shirt for Disney that says, why be a princess when you can be a queen? And it has all of the queens on there. 
that's fantastic. So when we were in the park, I bought Ursula ears. Ursula ears? Yes. So I have Mickey Mouse ears that are Ursula. Like in color or like or like actual design? I, I have to see this because I don't okay. I can't imagine Ursula ears. I automatically think of her tentacles. Yes, I'll be right back. Good morning, Pearl. So this is yeah, half by eleven. Let me do some math. Three and a half, seven, leaves one and a half, eight, two and a half, two four, six, seven. Six. Here they are. Oh, okay. Aren't they amazing? And Oh, but it's a combination of different uh, evil uh, queens. No, nope, this one is just Ursula. So she has her, her crown and her colors. And then these are her um, ghouls, um, the ills. See, like when I see the actual ears part, like that makes me think of the uh, poison apple from Snow White. See, that's what I said. And they were like, nope, that's Ursula. And I'm like, are you sure? I would I would stick with that. Uh, like, it's a mix of two. <laughs> 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 well, and then the, the stone in the middle. Is red. Yeah. So that makes me think of the evil queen. Yeah. I said, that's okay. Either way, I'm going to take them. I just seen the evil queen, which like I, I I think I think it honestly has like two or three like uh, villains in it, and which is fine. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not sister, it's not complaining or anything, but like yeah, my sister's like you're actually gonna wear those. I said I sure am. I'm gonna put. Them I can see right you now. wearing them. Sean has pictures. I don't have them on my phone. He I was gonna say there better have been pictures. I just imagine you having the giddiest smile on, like, while wearing them. Take look at me. I'm adorable. Yes, <laughs> My son told me I had to behave at the character dinners. And Gosh. I'm like, what fun is that? So the very first thing... Um, Donald comes over and he gives me a great big hug as we're sitting at the table. Aww. I'm like, ha, huh, I didn't have to act up. He came over anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you always act up. <laughs> You're always doing something. What is it well, that Tristan tells me? I'm always extra. Yep. Yeah. Well, someone's <laughs> got to keep you on your toes, Sean. That's... that's a full-time job by itself. It is. <laughs> so now you have to send me pictures or bring your phone so I can show them me wearing my ears. <laughs> Lindy's showing her true colors. <laughs> Sweetheart, my son does. He tells me all the time, Mom, you are so extra. It's not even funny. I'm like, well, first off, you have to explain to me what extra means because I'm old and I don't know that term. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, being overboard or 
doing the most when it's not necessary or yeah just, that's what, just being excessive the extra that's what he said and i'm like okay i'll be extra i don't care i'm me <laughs> yep whether you like it or you don't it's too I'm, much of a hassle not being yourself so why try to be anything else but yourself yes and and I told him, I said, in life, you're going to have people that love you. You're going to have people that think you're okay. And you're going to have people that don't like you. And that's a them problem, not a you problem. Yeah. Yeah, it's just you being you. So you be you. Yeah. And she was like, see, Mom, extra. You are so extra. <laughs> Brenda, you turd. <laughs> I might have to do that. I did buy just normal Mickey ears too in a backpack and you guys might get scared because he sleeps with a CPAP machine too. <laughs> my uh, uh, grandparents on my uh, stepdad's side, like uh, they they had to sleep with those. I wonder if they're still around. Hmm. I haven't thought about uh, them in a while. So have you not talked to them for quite some time, Casey? Well, um, this was back when I was like much younger, like uh, elementary school. Uh, and... Uh, Mom and my uh, stepdad uh, got divorced. So, yeah, I haven't. Uh, yes, Diana. Um, so, yeah, I haven't seen or heard anything of uh, that side of the family in a while. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, oh, what, what were their names? Uh uh, I think Grandpa's name was Gary, and I can't remember Grandma's name. But, yeah, they were awesome. Like, uh, uh, in the basement, they had a, they had the old shag carpet or whatever, and they had one of those uh, Blinko games. That was always fun to play. Yes. And they had one of those old big box like TVs that like you would literally have to have like four people to try to carry. <laughs> and they always had a, a candy dish that had uh, like Werther's uh, butterscotch hard candies in it that we always loaded our pockets with every time we came over. Uh, we used to go to Keho Elementary, which was in the same neighborhood as Grandma and Grandpa's. So after school, we would just walk over to grandma and grandpa's and uh, we'd uh, wait over there uh, till uh, mom or stepdad uh, got done with work and we'd have chicken pot pies while we're over there. We had good memories with those grandparents. Very nice. Um, Memories are good. Oh, that would be fun, Brenda. Do it. <laughs> Darth Ursula. That would be hilarious. I'll have to see if I can make that work. Because it's holy soul. Oh my gosh, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> mm 
Yes, Casey's still a young pup. I graduated more than 10 years ago. I'm going to be 34 at the end of this month. You're still old enough to be my child. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> I have people that I graduated with that are grandparents already. Yeah. One of them is a great grandma. I'm like, wow. Okay. Uh, I have to figure out what I want to do on these. And now they've cut them down. Now I have to do something with them. Um, I'm finishing my labels first because I figured I can knock them out kind of quick. None of those have red. This one is pastel. Not sad as well. This is not the Farting contest, of course. I love it. <laughs> it's like when Sean and I first got married, he would fart while we were in bed and pull the covers over your head, so I would do it back. Oh, Sean was one of those? He was one of those. What a turd. And I'm like, look. Buddy, I'm not above doing it back. Yep. <laughs> Linda, you're like, I'm all about equality. That's right. <laughs> you want to do that? Here we go. You asked yep. for it. We're bringing it back. <laughs> That's... About. <laughs> oh, Brenda, I cannot wait for us to come and meet you. I cannot. I feel like you'd be on the floor, like laughing the whole time. You want to get anything done. Oh, I'm sure. Right, Leah? Just makes her even better. <laughs> I was going to say, it makes her even more spunky. Yes. Let's see. I don't want to. Let's go this way. Scissors. 
still the pro guy. So Sean cannot find pictures with my ears. I'll see if my sister has them. But look, here's I'm just sitting there minding my own business. And up comes Donald. <laughs> and then because my son made a comment, he had to go and grace himself with the kids. Let's go the right way, Lindy. <laughs> <laughs> And here's Sean and I together <laughs> at the Rodeo Roundup. All right, so my son, when you ask him to take a picture for you, like Sean and I wanted to take a picture out at the hotel in this little um, seating area they had. I was like, oh, it's so romantic. So I'm like, take a picture. So when he first takes the picture, he hands it back and this is what I get. <laughs> Where are me and your dad? He goes, well, I thought you would want one of me better. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> so that happens all the time. Or he'll put it on the quick take and I'll get like 50 of one picture. <laughs> I'm like, you are such a shithead. Now you, now you go, go through and like delete like 50 pictures that like weren't even good because they're all blurred because they went so fast. Yes. And here's Sean with Mickey. Safari Mickey. Yes, it's at Tusker House. And then, of course, me and my. <laughs> I'm like, you can't go up there and just pose. And then here's the group. That's so fun. We had so much fun. So much that Tristan wants to go back at Christmas time. Start saving now. I know. I'm like, um, do you know how expensive that is, honey? Um, alphabet song. Oh, Leah, I love it. Sean used to be able to do that, too. Now I think he would just vomit if he had to do that. Also, Brenda's having a well most recent.
So what is everybody doing today? Casey, you have plans with Michael today? Uh, yeah. Well, we hang out like all day, like, uh, well, not all day, but like after I got off work, we hang out like most of the day Friday. And then um, Saturday morning before I had to go to work, so. Okay. But I, the plan is to hang out, but I know I got a bunch of stuff I, I want to get done around the house, so. It's kind of up in the air at the moment on my end. Gotcha. Maybe you can talk him into coming over and helping you get the stuff done. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not likely to happen. Uh, he, uh, he'll get stuck in this like head world and everything. And then like, he can't, he has a hard time concentrating. So I think a lot of those gamers do. Well, he, he deals with schizophrenia. So, okay. So it, it, it's, uh, it, it's not just like a, an attention like thing. Like he actually has like a mental thing that like, Okay. It, it makes it very difficult. Understand. Tristan's a gamer and he has a hard time um, focusing. When we were working on altering our um, jelly prints or whatever, like mine are a spray ink uh, or a little, little spray stain or spray oxide uh, index cards. I'm just altering. And Lindy's altering her um, jelly prints on uh, her label paper, it looks like. I have all of these papers that are unfinished. So I'm like, I need to finish them. Brenda. <laughs> um. <laughs> I have to think of what else I want to. Sean wants meatloaf, so we're having meatloaf Ooh. today. Yum. I love me some meatloaf. I haven't had it in a long while. Meatloaf is not one of my favorites. It's not horrible. Um, I don't know. It's just not one of your, like, comfort foods at all. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really have a comfort food anymore. Um, I take an injection Monjaro for my diabetes, and nothing tastes the same anymore. Oh, uh, that stinks. Yeah. Like, I really don't care to eat meat which is crazy because i've always been a meat person oh that really stinks and then i get really weird cravings like dirt like when i first started <laughs> film i craved sweet corn on the cob for over a year oh wow like in the summertime i would eat corn for breakfast lunch and dinner because that's all i wanted Interesting. And then now that the dose has increased, I want cotton candy, which is crazy because I never liked cotton candy as a kid. I hated it. It's just weird stuff like that. My mom was like, you're eating cotton candy? I'm like, I know. It was a texture thing. I didn't like the texture. Oh. Now here I am eating it all the time. 
So I remember uh, growing up in the skating rink, uh, learning how to uh, work the cotton candy machine. I, I just liked watching it. Like, it was so fascinating. Watching it spin out uh, all sugar webs and everything. Yes. So cool. My sister was the cotton candy person, and now all of a sudden she doesn't like it, and I want it all the time. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm craving oyster stew right now. I've never had that. It's a family favorite. All right, that's one of my comfort foods. So for me, my main comfort foods are like goulash, uh, meatloaf, and oyster stew. Uh, but uh, with the oyster stew, you have to have grilled cheese sandwiches with it. Okay. Like nice gooey grilled cheese sandwiches. Yes. I know I'm not Casey, sweetheart, but I'm going to use some red glitter and silver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still debating on if I'm going to use some uh, embossing powder. I was thinking about that. Uh, with the red. Oh, that would be pretty. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Leah. I got this one on um, Amazon. So, Wendy, can you um, also get the gilding um, paste? Is that what she had from um, Stamperia? I think that's what it was. Uh, the gilding paste. Are you talking about what um, Laura used? No, um, we were at um, Spectrum Art last night, and she had some. Oh, okay, some, I know. Um, I can't remember. It was gilding something, and I can't remember if it was paste. Gilding polish, yes. And I was quite um, shocked. I went to Spectrum Arts website and she's like cheaper on some of her stuff um, than what you can get going directly to Prima. Oh, really? Yes. Like about, about like what percentage, if you could roughly estimate? Um, so her... Wax at Prima is eight ninety nine, and I think she has them for eight dollars. Um, and it's not like a so huge, about like ten percent off. -ish. Yeah, it's not like a huge percent, but if you're gonna buy a whole collection, it's a nice savings. Mm hmm. Um, and let's see, the molds, I think, on Prima were $24.99, and I can get them with her for $20. You have to check out her website. But I wanted to make sure that Wendy couldn't get it because Wendy's my first go-to. <laughs> Okay. 
So Sean is into the Phenobar um, products. He wants the Phenobar molds. Oh, same. Like they have so many fun ones. Yes. So Casey, in our new journey in this mixed media world, I have come across molds and I'm like, are they not all the same? Um, <laughs> because some will just say molds. Others will say, um, M O U L D. What? Yeah. And I knew that, you know, those were kind of the same thing. Um, but some will say maxi molds. I've and, never heard of maxi molds. Um, and then others will say that they are silicone mode. And I know what that it is. Um, but then some are, there was another one. What was it? I was going to ask you. Let me see. Because I was like, wait a minute. How many different kinds of molds are there? I, I am mainly only aware of... Uh... Like one says it's like an impression mold or something. Impression mold. And I'm like, what does that mean? Is no, it a like, mold or is it something that you're going to stamp down and just get an impression? I'm like, what does this mean? Yeah, like, please elaborate. So I was like, I'm going to ask. Um, yeah, I, I haven't used molds. I want to use molds. And... Um, there, I, I want to figure out what um, clay or whatever some uh, Finnebar artists use because, like, it's it's still pliant. Like, you can still, like, move it and then just clip it with scissors and everything. And you can still paint it and all that. So I'm just, like, I, I want to know what uh, product they use in their molds as well. Yeah, because you don't get much of a description. Um, well, yeah, for what they use in their molds, yeah, they, they don't. Uh, I've watched so many of, like, Finnebar art files, like, videos and everything, but not one of them do I ever see uh, what... Uh, what uh they use in their molds so like it always throws me off i'm just like i want to know what like you advertise everything else that you're uh, putting on this uh composition but you're not telling us what you're using in your molds Did we lose Lindy? No, I'm here. Okay. I'm looking through stencils to see what else I want to put on here. Um, yeah, it's this mold world is getting out of hand for me. I'm like, I don't know what an impression mold is. Sweetheart, that's amazing. Mine is staying steady at 5.9 um, for the past year on Manjaro. But I'm that odd duck because my sugar levels are never elevated, um, but my A1C was elevated but I'm insulin resistant and diabetic. So how does that happen?
I forgot to get rid of the little annoying red heart. So I'm doing it now, guys. I'm sorry. I forgot on this video. Oh, the live reactions thing? Yes. Better. Now I can read it all. See, Diana, I'm on Monjaro and I have the worst cravings ever. It's weird. Oh, that turned out great. Okay, see, those are gonna be amazing. Yeah, I'm just like going for it. Like, I'm not trying to think about it too much. I'm just. Yep. But like a, a lot of these, like, is just like spray ink or whatever on it. So I'm just like, okay. I need something. Okay, thank you, Pearl. I was like going, um, I don't know what a maxi mold is. And then we have just regular mm -hmm. modes and then those impressions. And I was just like, okay, I'm done looking because I don't know what anything is. Different styles made so that you can mold with an impression. Oh no, Leah, that stinks. Uh oh, I missed something. Oh, she won a journal uh, from a giveaway from Kara Renee uh, from Arborn Art. I think I think it's supposed. Oh yeah, Reborn Art, yeah, and healing. And the um, closure was a resin bottle cap, and apparently it broke off during shipping. Oh, that stinks. Hmm. Okay, so looked in, looked at and pushed hmm. molds. They are molds that have different styles made into them. So you can mold with an impression. I still don't get it. That is a cool closure. I love that. That's fun. And then there's the back. Um... So, um, Lid, did it look like it was glued on or? Is it something you think you might be able to remedy? Yeah, if it was put back on with resin, we might be able to repair that for you. Um, but then it's, ooh, then Fabri-Tac. I would try Fabri-Tac to put it back on. Oh, she just glued it back on. Okay. Mm -hmm. That one wasn't nearly as blue. Oh. It was glued on seam binding. Oh. Um. Not sure that that. Okay. Um, was the back of it like, 
a little rough or no? Like, did it have some tooth to it or was it pretty smooth? Because I was going to say, if anything, you might need to rough up the back of it. That way it has some tooth to, whoops. That way it has some tooth to hold on to. Uh, after it's, uh, while it's being adhered. Because your glue will seep into the fibers of the seam binding. But like it needs something to really grab onto on the cap itself. So you could take a coarse sandpaper or take something sharp and like etch in the back of it. So it has something to hold on to. Yeah, that's a really cute button though. Uh, bubble cup. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like it was roughed up at all. Uh, yeah, I would I would go through and try to rough it up a little bit on the back to help it adhere. But you said you already glued it on, so let uh, just see how it works with uh, it already glued. But um, if it pops off again, try roughing it up on the back side of it. Small buckle which you could stitch to the those into the buckle. I mean you could do that too. Oh you haven't glued it back yet. Okay. Yeah, but that's my recommendation. Just just rough up the back to give it some uh, tooth for uh, the glue to actually hold on to. Because I'm wondering what type of glue she used to begin with for it not to be able to hold on. Congratulations for winning. I didn't say that. Okay. okay. Let's see. Do you want to add to this one? Yes. She should have stitched. Oh. 
Um, I don't know what you can love. Okay, now let's do... Let's Casey, work. when is your um, retreat? Um, beginning of May. First Wednesday to the second Wednesday. Okay. Do you have any idea what projects you're going to take to work on? Well, I know there's uh, some uh, uh, group projects okay. that uh, are kind of already planned out, but I haven't thought of anything for myself yet, which I need to get on the ball on that. I'm not very good at like planning projects ahead. Like It's always on a whim which, me. I'm which, like, oh. which means I grab anything and everything I can and I'm not going to be able to take anything and everything with me Yeah, so I yeah, I don't have any ideas at the moment. Good, Good morning, morning, Michael. Jinx, <laughs> yell me a coffee. And stereo. <laughs> I can't wait to get there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. From the sounds of it, they're super excited to <laughs> have us uh, come in. Yeah, it'll be fun. I'm excited for it. I bet. I've not ever been to one, and I would like to go. Yeah, that that's me. I'm just like, I've never been to one, and always sounds like a blast from uh, the way I hear Gail. Uh, talk about it on her channel. I'm just like, yes, I want to do one of those. <laughs> and Gail, you can't get in. She's got a two year waiting list and she's not putting Are names on a new list. Yes. I'm not surprised though. Like she, she's a sweetheart. Like she tries to look out for people and everything. Like she's awesome. Maybe we can talk Johnny into hosting a retreat. There you go. Maybe at uh, her place and we we can have at her bar. Yes, drinks <laughs> and... <laughs> drinks and everything on Johnny. <laughs> yeah, we can even buy your cup there. <laughs> there we go. I actually have a, a couple... Uh, tumblers or whatever coming in from Johnny. Do and, you? Yeah. I okay. I have a uh, one or two of his um uh effing ones. I don't know if you saw those. Um I have the coffee cup version. I have two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got one of those and then I got um uh, what was the other one? Uh, uh, here we go again, or something like that. I mean, good morning. Yes. Like I yeah, I, I got I both got. of those, and then I got like, I think I got the fun like dragonfly one. Okay. I, I thought the dragon. It was either the dragonfly one or um the, there's like a oh there's like a grubby like, uh chip paint one. Okay. I can't remember which one I actually got. But yeah, I know I have three coming. <laughs> she is having a ball making them. Mm -hmm. Well, and we're all just eating it up. Like. Yes. And then the mouse pads and everything. I was like, 
I don't know who still uses mouse pads, but at least it's a soft surface if you're uh, doing any form of stamping. Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. Because some people just use like uh, foam sheets. I, I have one here. I just had it. I don't know where to put it. But yeah, some people just use like your basic craft foam sheets to stamp on. We'll get her on here with us one day. She wants to do it. Yeah, her and I keep talking about uh, jelly printing. And she was like, one of these days we're going to catch each other and actually be able to do this. And I was like, yeah, I've given you my schedule a couple times. So and the ball's in your court. <laughs> yes. Like the one day that she was up early. I'm like, oh, you want to join us this morning? And she's like, no, I'm selling. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, because uh, she was getting a bunch of stuff together for a sale. Yes. I'm like, okay. She's like, yes, I'm up, but I already have priorities at the moment. Which is understandable. We all are busy. Well, and then half the people that uh, join our group, our uh, lives and everything, are sellers too. So, yes. And I'm still worried about Danielle. I've not seen her for a little bit. Have any of you ladies in chat heard anything from Danielle at all lately? Because I haven't seen or heard from her in a while either. Diana hasn't seen her either. Hmm. Good morning, Julie. How are you? Welcome in. Good morning, Julie. Oh, and then I um, have to go over and check out Charlene's group, what the rules are on my challenge that I'm doing with her. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that. I, ne I never got any of that written down for uh, me either. <laughs> I'm so bad. Well, like there's so many challenges on so many of these different groups. I'm just like, I'm, I'm just going to do my own thing. I'm not even trying. Like I'll get added to like the group chat for some of those. I'm just like automatically take myself out of it because they the chat blows up and I have no clue what's going on. I'm just like. What is this and why am I in this? I don't know what, what's happening. <laughs> yes. Like it's hard when you work a full-time job and you go to sales and you do sales and then you try to do videos and stay up to date. And I'm just like, oh, I can't do it. Yeah, it's just all so much. But I definitely would like to do one challenge, and I chose Charlene, so I got to figure it out. <laughs> I know it has to do with birds, and I have my... Is anyone else doing the challenge with us? Well, because I think you challenged the group to do the challenge. I did. I'm like, if I'm going to do it, you all should do it. <laughs> Someone's going to have to keep me on track. <laughs> we'll just tell the truth.
it's funny at work i have this um girl her name is jordan and um, i call her my work daughter but we'll get an email and i'm like okay did you read the email what am i supposed to do <laughs> instead of you reading the email i was like okay you read it right now tell me what it said yes Sometimes I read the email and I just sit there and I'm like, God, mind overload. What do you want me to do? <laughs> so now the joke is she'll um, get the email and she's like, okay, you have to do this, this, and this. I'm like, okay, I don't have to read it. <laughs> just one of those things like, can you translate this for me? Like, because I need this dumbed down because I, I don't, I don't get it. What's going on? Yes. That's how I feel sometimes. I'm like, um, what? Okay, you want me to take the paper from the fax machine and put it in this file? Why didn't we just say that? <laughs> it was that simple? And it's like, why, why did we make this an email? Yes. <laughs> so she'll come into the back office, and I'm just sitting there staring at the computer going, what? <laughs> What is this? Just staring at the computer. And it's like, huh? <laughs> I said, Jordan, just wait. You're going to get old one day. You're going to get old and your brain just doesn't process like it used to. It processes. It just takes two hours. <laughs> you, you just have that little buffering circle above your head. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. I'm like looking and I'm like processing, processing. Let me reread this. And on the fifth Control part, delete, like, start oh, over again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had a patient go, well, you just check patients in all day. And I'm like, I wish that's all I did. I wish that's it. <laughs> I'm like, but we have to answer the phones. We have to schedule appointments. We have to check you in. We have to check you out. We have to um, send nurses messages. We have to cancel schedules. We have to reschedule people. It's, <laughs> it's this long list of things. It's like a whole secretarial job, basically. Yes. So when they send you an email, you're like, what? I got to do something else? Huh? When do I have time? I got to print letters. I have to mail the letters. I have to. <laughs> Is there an extra $4 raise that comes with this new thing that we never had to do before? Right. That we are still on the board to have our jobs cut at the end of this month. If Congress doesn't come up with, you know, I can't get into all of the details. All right. Well, I think I have all these pretty well painted up. I think I want to. I think some of these I want to actually do some stamping on, but I don't know what I want to stamp on them or what color to stamp with. Since I already got black as a prominent color with them. Two there. If you don't, she's more pampered than a paper. <laughs> right, Diana. We do love our Wendy. Yeah, Wendy's fantastic. She is. Um. And Glad that Sean and I can call her our friend. Let's 
two spoon. But I love calling you Mrs. Rooster. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that is sweet. I'm already on my second thing of coffee. Are you? Yeah, that's faster than usual. I have store-bought coffee, so it's taken a little bit. Um, that's not the one I want. Where's the one I used the other morning? Or evening, rather. Brenda, I definitely think you stay way true to your colors. And I love you for that. If I want a straight answer, I'm going to ask Brenda. <laughs> She's going to give it to me whether I like it or not. Is that the, I don't think that's the blue I use, is it? That must hmm. I used a really fun blue the other day and and you forgot which one it was. <sighs> Well, I, it was one of my turquoise, but I can't remember which turquoise. It, it, may have, it may have been this one, my cobalt turquoise. That's one of my favorite ones to use. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was the one I used. <laughs> that would make sense. Not that I've ever, you know, forgotten a color I used that I liked. Well, I made some ATCs the other night uh, when Michael and I were hanging out, and they turned out fantastic, honestly. I freaking love them. So. Did you show them off? No, I, I, I'm doing that now. <laughs> okay. So, um, well, I think they're just on 12 by 12 uh, cardstock, and they're ATC size, and I just... Uh, I just sewed over them. Oh, there we go. I just sewed over them first, let it dry, and then I put gesso through a stencil. And then I went through and used uh, raw umber and yellow oxide to color it. Oh, wait. Before I did that, I, uh, I Mod Podge uh, some Tim Holtz collage paper on there. And then I did the stenciling, and then I did the coloring, and then I went over with bubble wrap. Uh, uh, to uh, get the um, impressions. And then I also uh, used um, uh, a ribbon spool to do my circles. Okay. Very nice. I like them, Casey. Yeah. So I did... Uh, me and uh, a few of the gals that are going on the uh, retreat for HPP, um, we did a laughing craft, like a private laughing craft together. Yeah. And uh, we're all working on like little projects here and there. Uh, quite a few of us were working on uh, our ATCs because we need like 13 of them for um, the thing. But yeah, and then and this was originally one thing. But okay, I was gonna say, is that an insect? I love it. Yeah, I, I think it's um a locust. Okay, is that a stamp set? So no, I didn't use any stamps on this. So the ones with the bugs and everything, those are from uh, Tim Holtz uh, collage paper. Okay. I, uh, I don't know the name of it. It's probably like field notes or something. I don't know. 
And then I use uh, another collage paper that has like letters and numbers on it. Very nice. I like those. Oh. I like the bugs. I need to use this at all. Nice room. Oh, you ladies. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I'm sure they did flock. Um. Well, yes. Wow, well, like everything's go whoa. <laughs> I was just catching up on everything. I'm like, oh my word, that went whoa, okay. Yes, I'm like, um, okay. <laughs> oh, I love y'all. I am going to just carry on with myself and. <laughs> Oh, that's that's a different bubble wrap. That's not. I want to this one. Oh, let's see what else we want to pull out. Good morning, Jelly Bean. How are you? Hello, Jelly Bean. Oh, did you guys have a fun sell yesterday with uh, Jelly Bean? We did. We had a lot of fun. Sorry I wasn't there for most of it. I'm sure you guys had some fantastic things as always. Um, Casey, it was like a bunch of hodgepodge because I've started cleaning um, because I want things gone. So I had like shelf sitters and things that were like not craft related at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I was like, I got to move this stuff out. It's cluttering the house, and I don't. I just had to have it gone. <laughs> and what do you mean? What are uh, shelf setters? Um, they Sounds are... familiar, but I can't think of like what it is. So they are little bitty creatures that have these legs, but their butts that, let me see if I can find one real quick. Oh, like those pot perchers? Yes. Okay, I know what you're talking about then. Yes. So I had a ton of those because I would decorate my office at work. And I'm like, okay, I'm over the stuff. I just need it to go away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot I have these. Mm -hmm.
when you you know when you tell you uh, tell someone that they're going to go back and look and it's like, oh, what did I miss? And you're like, oh. <laughs> You know that's the way that works, right, Wendy? <laughs> I can't be the only one who's like, oh, that must must have been good if you're telling me not to do it. Yes. Because now I'm sure Sean's in there reading it. I'm not that innocent. Sorry, Diana. As soon as you said that, I have to I had to go uh, full Britney right there. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know what you're talking about. Sean would appreciate it. And at the moment, the only thing that's popping up in my head every time I see Diana type is dirty Diana. <laughs> <laughs> now I have that song stuck in my head. Why not clean up cheating ones? I'm glad we have the group we do, like just for like the random BS that like comes across our chat and it's just like, um, some people would be very uncomfortable with this and the rest of us are just like, oh, well, <laughs> yes. Hey, Paula, how are you? Good morning, Paula. Pocket Did letter, you sleep like in your vehicle last night? Uh, Jelly Bean, um, these guys are uh, just about half an inch uh, on either side, uh, slightly larger than ATCs. But that's what, uh, but that's kind of what I'm going for. And then so the other ones. Uh, these guys I cut down to like standard ATC size. And then I did some others uh, Friday night. I had to think of what day it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, know, all my days know. blend together anymore. It's a sad affair. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those days that end in a Y. So Mr. Casey will be at a retreat in May. So if somebody wants to fill in on Sunday morning. All the fur babies are, are sleeping right now. We got a little Merlin over here snoring up a storm. Good morning, Jasper. Welcome. Good morning, Jasper. How are you doing? So my son and his fiance went and seen Dune last night. Yeah. He loved it. She did not. 
but she's not seen the first one. Oh, yeah, because it's the second one that's out now, isn't it? Yes. I feel like... Didn't the first one, like, just come out recently? Um, They brought it back since the second one was coming out. Um, Because I heard everybody talking about it, so I'm just like, wait a minute. I know there's a second one, so wait, didn't... Didn't they just release the remake for the first one not too long ago? I think they did for the release of part two. See, I've never I've never seen them before. I've always been aware of them, but I've never uh, watched any of them. Hey, Cheryl, welcome in. Good morning, Cheryl. How is hubby today? Uh, jelly bean, you don't have to jelly plate like. No. Like it, it's it's just a crafting chat. Like we just typically usually jelly plate. That way we're constantly learning from each other. But like you don't have to. It's not an obligation. If you have projects you want to work on, just grab your projects and like just hang out. Jelly Bean, if you want to, you could get the butterfly kits together. I can purchase my kit, and then you can show me how to put them together. There we go. See? She has this butterfly kit that she put out, oh, probably a year and a half ago, and I bug her about it all the time because I missed it. I missed the sale, and I'm like, did you do the butterfly? Yeah, they sold out. I'm like, oh. <laughs> uh, Dune 2. They went and saw Dune 2. Yeah, Dune. D-U-N-E 2. Jelly Bean does do amazing work. Her hand craft stuff is always great. So I think I'm going to call this one done now. All right, Casey, what are you humming this morning? Um, uh well, it, I still have the music playing in the background. Right now, it's uh, Tightrope, uh, The Greatest Showman. Okay. I love The Greatest Showman. It's such a good musical. Yes. I like Hugh Jackman, though. So that was, mm -hmm. yes. No, I like when... Uh, uh, he first came out with uh, playing in uh, Les Mis, uh, how everyone joked with him. So when are we going to get like a, a musical uh, Wolverine? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that would be interesting. That would be very interesting. Hmm. Is Cheryl heading out already? Bye, Cheryl. Bye, Cheryl. Have a great day. Thanks for the brief visit. Jelly Bean, it is um, the first Sunday in May, I think. Um, but we'll let you know closer to time if you want to do that. And that spot will be open that Sunday. Uh, it, it should be. Or uh, on my end, it should be for you guys to gather. Um, well, Casey's off having fun with his other friends. 
<laughs> kind of jealous. I I want to go. I, to I couldn't time. tell. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. Um, I'm questioning like putting some of this on some of these. What are you questioning? Well, like I've added so much like to the background. I'm debating on some of the um, little cluster things I put on them. Or more so uh, how I have the clusters on them. Or how much I'm using at once. Is that me dinging or is that you dinging? Um, it's me. Okay. I was wondering because I do have some notifications on here. I wasn't sure. It's me. I need to... I updated my computer and when it updated, it updated and it took off my silence on my Facebook notifications and I can't figure out how to get on back silent. <laughs> oh, Brenda. Uh oh. I'm going to look. Do I want to? Well, uh, Michael and I will both be there, so, or that's the plan, um, with his uh, job situation, uh, it's, we're not exactly sure what's going on with that, so. Jasper, they, um, they're not jelly molds they're just um molds for like resin or clay that you used in mixed media but i sean and i are just starting and there are so many different types out there so i was like confused so i stopped looking uh correct diana Oh yeah, yeah. We still got to figure out the um, uh, plane tickets yet, as well. I haven't bought any of those yet. I and hear if you buy them on Tuesdays, they're cheaper. Yeah, last I checked for round trip for um, the time frame. Um, or initially it was like 149 for a round trip. And then the last time I checked, it was like under a hundred. Oh, very nice. I'm just like, ooh. Nice savings. Right. I was told that she would work with me on the payments, but the airline tickets are gonna be the hard part. Yeah. Will the KCB be safe from? <laughs> I think I I think I should be fine, Brenda. Like, if, if anything, I'll like lob my uh, glue stick at them if they if they try anything. <laughs> I just glue them to their chair. <laughs> there you go. Break out my industrial fabric tack. Yes. Okay, I, I'm liking that better, like little bits of my like clusters here. Poor Michael, he's not on with these women all the time. They're going to eat him alive. <laughs> right. At least Casey kind of knows what he's getting into. <laughs> Um, Diana, if I had like a drag thing, like 
I, that would be so much fun. That I would. would. If I even knew how to do that type of makeup, I totally would. <laughs> but uh, alas, I am not gifted in that art. But yeah, I think it would be fantastic. But from the sounds of it, um, one of them, uh, their brother is uh, uh, part of the uh, gay community. So I I have a feeling at least one of them is used to uh, drag. So <laughs> is armed with a glue <laughs> jelly bean. Is glue stick a euphemism for? Brenda, no. No. <laughs> Only on Sunday mornings. I knew someone was going to say that like after I said that. I wasn't even thinking after I said I'm just like hopefully they missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to a Brenda to catch it like right, right on key. I'm just like okay yeah I gotta follow up with this one. <laughs> yeah Brenda does not miss a beat. She is pretty sharp. <laughs> Try to convert me. <laughs> it's not really a thing. Because <laughs> I'm not uh, specifically one way. So... Um uh, bum, 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 bum. Ace man who prefer <laughs> Oh that's fun, Leah. Oh well see Leah, you can fly and help Casey and then you can fly here and help me go through this house. <laughs> 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 Uh oh. Um, <laughs> it's to make drag costumes for a man. Just leave. <laughs> oh, that's fun, Jelly Bean. <laughs> Hide in the closet. <laughs> Cannot hide in the closet. Ooh. Dead ringer for share. I do have to say that... Um, I've been to quite a few drag shows and I, I have to say Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh you're terrible <laughs> oh my word <sighs> oh my gosh so <laughs> as I was saying <laughs> That, that makes me think of, uh, what was it, uh, Yes Man with Jim Carrey. Oh, yes. It was so bad. <laughs> and Jim Carrey's like, how are you doing that? I'm like, oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you, Leah, with, with you, Brenda. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 
<laughs> she is definitely on a roll. Yeah, I ha I have a bunch of uh, drag friends that I've known for like years, and like I used to help out uh, in the uh, in the uh, dressing room, like just like switching in between uh, costumes for their different uh, numbers. So I learned how to tie a corset pretty good. And I learned half of them don't uh, readjust their corsets after they get off of Amazon because almost all the ones you get off Amazon are always tied wrong. So like I'm always, I was always like readjusting their corsets so you could properly tie them. Oh. How many of you are going to forget today's crafting chart? Uh, not anytime soon, Brenda. <laughs> So close. Yeah, I don't think anybody will be um, forgetting today's episode. Leah, uh, you're you're about to tell us a secret about yourself. Did you used to do drag? Were you a drag king? Is that the secret? Have you, Have you guys seen some of those uh, drag kings though? Uh, if you know the term. Well, I know a lot of drag queens here in town look better than most women in town. <laughs> yeah. And some of them make better women than men. I mean, that's fair. They used to read at our library to the children and then that became a big thing i'm like really can we not have it a thing oh between like <clears throat> the parental communities and everything yes i'm like they're reading stories to children we have to make it a thing Yeah, they got the protesters out and everything, and so it got put to a stop. <laughs> Brenda, I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy. Where am I? Oh, so it's, it's not as bad as like a lot of us are not bad. It's not as, uh, uh, dark as we were. Well, that's not even the right term. It, it's not in the spectrum. We thought it was going to be Leah. Yes. I think that's the safest way of saying that without like sounding like bad about it. <laughs> no bad. I thought she was going to tell us that she had a sex change or something. Yeah. That is doable. Do you still teach it? <laughs> Any tips and tricks? <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of, uh, what was it? Uh, was it, uh, was it Shabari? Like rope play. Oh. Yes, I've heard of that. Like I remembered learning some ways to tie uh, the rope because one of my uh, friends, they wanted to incorporate um, like the vibe of uh, rope play or shibari 
into their uh, number. So uh, they had gotten a, a book about it and showed like different ties and everything. And I had to uh, learn to how to tie it on them uh, before their number. So that was fun. But the only thing is I, w I wasn't able to do it well enough that like it stayed 100% on during the performance. Like it looked great like right away and you took pictures and that's about as long as it stayed on. <laughs> well, because she needed to be able to breathe and like it, it would go like across her chest and like her stomach like real tight. So, uh, and I, I, if I remember right, I think uh, she uh needed to sing and everything so like that it just didn't work out so but yeah it, it like slipped off like halfway through the performance here and there so but, she had uh, a janet jackson moment yeah <laughs> <laughs> well like uh she ended up using uh it as like part of the prop for uh the number so where it like loosened up she like kind of like start like swinging around like uh like a whip or whatever so she just like incorporated it she just made do which it the number turned out fantastic even though it wasn't the way uh it wasn't the way she intended it to yeah i don't I am pretty open-minded. Um, I feel like a lot of people in this group have like lived long enough to like be over all the um, hateful BS. Yes. And then Michael and I are like young enough to understand like everybody has their own like things. And like just being accepting of others. Yes, that's what I would like to see the whole world do is just be accepting and not hateful. Mm -hmm. But I think we're still a long way from there. Yeah. And it was like, which is very these sad. people's life don't affect your life unless you put yourself in their life. Yep. You mess with it. So let them live their life. Yes. It doesn't affect you. It's their choice to do what they do. Well, I'm sorry you had a horrible experience, but I'm glad you learned the safety and that you're teaching others. Spin us, spin us some records, damn. And here I thought, Leah, you were this quiet, meek, um, Lady, <laughs> I love how you had to think about that. Like, lady, because like everyone was assuming she a transitioned or something, like when she was about to let out her secret. Yes, <laughs> it's like. It was either that or broad. Broad came to mind, and I'm like, ah, she's not a broad. <laughs> but that's what I pictured this meat little. 
<laughs> Brenda, I can imagine you being the person uh, in the dressing room, like doing that, just like being a, a complete terror to the queens. Like, just for craps and giggles. Like, <laughs> should have waxed. <laughs> Your wax now. <laughs> oh. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. What are we going to do with you? And then, oh, Aaron has everyone fold as well. Here, I think Aaron is this prim and proper, her and Chris, and, you know, and then you find out that she's best friends with Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, there's no prim and proper there anymore. <laughs> Love you, Aaron. <laughs> Uh, TMI, Jasper. <laughs> Great, Jasper. Now Sean's going to be reading this and he's going to go, oh, I need to call Jasper. <laughs> oh, my gracious. <laughs> Too late for TMI. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, Aaron is wild. Hmm. For the longest time, I could not picture Aaron being wild at all. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and glue these down and then I'm going to work on a different layer. I think that inking them helped, like, ground them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Elisa, oh my gosh. If we had an, a retreat and our... <laughs> <laughs> if our Sunday group did a Brenda, the torture. Greet, get together, oh my God, we'd be in so much trouble. I would need, like, I already have like a huge bottle, like one of those bigger, like, I guess, liter bottles of wine. I was like, I would, pro during any one sale, I'd probably need two of those with how many times Doilies gets mentioned. <laughs> like, honestly. <laughs> right. You would be like so drunk. <laughs> well, especially like uh, Wendy's and Pearl sells. <laughs> oh, my gracious. When Pearl pulls out the six totes of Doilies. Well, but it's end game now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell those yet, Pearl. I gotta run to the liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. As Jasper clutches her pearls. <laughs> and I'm sure oh she's got hills and leather too. <laughs> Okay, let's do some gluing. Okay. 
mama. So don't always we have push comes to shout. Can you give me some family to remind you of my <laughs> Oh my gosh. I never thought like chat would get like this raunchy. <laughs> like on YouTube. Like I'm just like, oh, oh my. <laughs> Waiting for YouTube to come and go. Okay, you guys are shut down. <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean, you set this live to like eighteen plus, right? Yes. Okay, good. I love, I love how Jasper is playing Master C instead of Mister C. I don't know if that's yeah. intentional or not, but. No, I'm just I'm just altering I had a bunch <laughs> of um uh index cards I had like spray stain or spray oxide uh whatever and then I cut them down to uh I think it's what did I do three by four yeah I did three by four so they're only a half an inch uh square uh larger than ATCs. So I'm just altering these. They're just slightly larger ATCs is what I'm, I'm going for. Jelly Bean said you could do a series, Casey and the glue gun. <laughs> Sing at the B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, so, someone write the, write the music and maybe. <laughs> oh, I'll get some jazz hands in there. <laughs> And sparkle fingers. <laughs> Just add suggestions to words to the dirty minds of fear. Blue, you messed with my camera. Oh, oh did you need to go outside? Oh. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Huh? Master Casey. <laughs> oh. I think someone. So, it, so it's so it's properly. <laughs> but. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, Blue. <laughs> yeah. You don't say. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. I know I'm coming. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh my word. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. Go on. Raji, we just add suggestions to words. It's up to the dirty minds to figure it out. And not alone, obviously. <laughs> And Brenda, you are not <laughs> alone. <laughs> I think blue is the husky, but we will double check. And don't forget, if you have friends that have not subscribed to me yet, please have them come subscribe. And then get scared off by our chat. Yes. We are <laughs> do if they're the, too sensitive, then. <laughs> do the 500 giveaway <laughs> once we hit that milestone. And then we'll work on getting Casey up there. Okay. Work on Michael getting a channel. Besides when they started it this time. <laughs> so I was I was just thinking like you guys are starting to say like master Casey. I'm just like, so does that mean I need to uh, bring out my uh, harness and uh, riding crop? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, because I have a riding crop because I uh, have it for my Jareth cosplay. 
uh, from the Labyrinth. Yes. So, like, I got it for that, and then I got the uh, harness for uh, another costume for um, a Twi'lek from uh, Star Wars because uh, the species is known for their um, – for being uh, um, intimate servants. Like, they were, like – sold into like intimate slavery or whatever because of their sex drive. Mm. So like that, that's why I got the harness for because I, I did a tweet like uh, one time and it just lent to it. Uh, so they ask what um, breed blue is. Oh, bre uh, little, little. blue is a husky. There you go. Yeah, she's a husky. And she only uh, gets vocal when she has to go out or is um, uh, basically being taunted by Merlin uh, when uh, Merlin sees someone outside and won't shut up. Blue starts talking because she feels like she needs to be vocal too. Blamed for everything. Um, Brenda, he, he, he has, he, he knows it exists. That's about it. It's not something I use like literally ever. Yet. Leah's going to teach him safety. <laughs> um, Brenda, no, we don't have that either. Casey, look what I found. I have, I have the bugs. I, I think I think I got that set. Aren't those the same ones that were on your? Well, yeah, those he he yeah he used the same uh bug design for the um collage paper. Okay. Good morning, Lori B. Good morning, Lori. Enter at your own risk. Yes, please beware today. The girls are on a row. <laughs> I just took the word away. <laughs> no, uh, no, I do not, Diana. Uh, Michael knows I am not for any form of digital imagery. Uh, for myself because that stuff can find its way into unexpected places and then next thing you know your mother sees it and yeah yeah I'm not I don't even take my own pictures in that fashion and I don't like receiving pictures in that fashion either no Uh, Blue is uh, my roommate's dog. Uh, both dogs in uh, this house are my roommates, and both are uh, rescues. Oh, that makes them even more special. Mm -hmm. I love the rescues. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy.
You See all Leah. are busted. See, Leah, that's, I, yeah. Like, I, I'm glad you agree with that because like, I, I don't like, I don't like putting myself out there like that. Like, I'm barely comfortable with my body as it is, let alone taking, like, pictures or videos or anything like that. No. And, and like, the way some of that tends to, like, surface without warning, like, no. Nope, not happening. I won't even risk it. Yeah, she's been here forever. She's probably sitting in her car talking to us. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Hi, Blue. Oh, what you are wooing for? You have food, you have water. What are you are wooing for? Yeah. I I, I, yeah. I I don't I don't speak doggo. What are you gonna come up? There you go. You just want to be close to get loves, is that it? No, it is um just regular copy paper. It was one of my scraps where you know your printer starts running out of ink. So I just used the other side and it was a roll off page. And then I just took um, blacks and pinks and brought that out in the back. you, Wendy. So I'm playing with all of my prints that, um, like here's another, I save all of my pages that print out and they're not right. So then I use the other side when I'm jelly printing or plating, whatever the proper term is. <laughs> <laughs> right, Jellybean, you're talking, but not to me. Yeah, I, I I, think she just wants some attention. I think she was just wanting some love. I gave her some scratches. Now, now she's back to her little corner, passed out. Oh, let's do this one. Hey, Linda. Welcome in. Good morning, Linda. Tushy. Hit. Think I'm gonna pull out you guys if Wendy has any of this stencil butter oh it is so amazing I forgot which way I had this we'll go we'll go this way Oh, that's the way it's kind of gone now. I do that too. Paper seems so expensive. I just went to Wally World to get cards so I can lose a dollar more. Just uh, really? That's silly. Like Jolly Bean. Like I'm. I don't really buy like. Uh, scrapbook paper or anything like that anymore not really not unless it's like during a, a live sale or something but i don't go out of my way to get it anymore just because it i don't really use it like i like how pretty it is and everything but i don't really use it very often 
Paula, you'll have to do a video later and show me your car. Like the inside and all of the special little things. And Jim is amazing. <laughs> no, I like Wendy's butter better. I broke down about one of pencil butters. I started using them. Ooh. They are amazing. It's like butter. Oh, playing card stock for printing on. Oh, okay, that's what you're talking about, Jelly Bean. So, Wendy, I'm on the look for um, lime green, and I'll send you the other color. Better, better, better. Yes. Oh, that's a fun stencil. You got all sorts of different things on there to play with. I need to get the newer ones here. They're pastel. <laughs> hey, Judy. <laughs> Pro probably a good thing to scope everything out before you enter in. <laughs> <laughs> she was smart. She was like, do I say hi? They don't even know I'm here. Um, these women are, and gents are crazy. <laughs> yes, yeah, like Wendy said, w w welcome to class. Make sure you have your safe word ready before we continue. We do probably need to set up a safe word so <laughs> French fries. There French fries. <laughs> Salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> now we're in a food fetish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So is anybody oh, here gracious. a Shameless fan? Have you watched the sitcom Shameless? I'm aware of it. I've never watched it. That was one of their safe words. What, French, French fries. fries. And then the other one was Alley Cat. <laughs> Michael, pineapple juice. <laughs> what is that from? Someone used pineapple juice as a safe word. <laughs> Was that Zach and Mary make a porno or something like that? With uh, know. with uh, Seth Rogen. A guy was getting arrested on TikTok, and he said it was pineapple juice. Oh, gotcha. See, I don't, I don't do TikTok, so I, I don't know these things. Sean TikToks all day long. Is it because he's always watching the time and when you get off? I guess. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um, no, I get off work and I get in the car and it syncs up and I turn my Wi-Fi and everything back on and my phone just does this ever lasting... <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. He sent me all these TikToks. And I'm like, for the love of God, would you stop? <laughs> like, some of us actually have to work when we're at work, Sean. Yeah, I'm I'm baffled like how some people uh like especially like uh some like younger people like they'll get like butt hurt that you don't text them back right away and you're a working person and it's just like I'm at work. I can't have my phone on me. Like 
And it's like that you don't like message him back like right away. And it's like you need to calm down. Patience is a virtue. Like <laughs> and it's like I'll get to my message when I get to my message. I'll get back to you when I get back to you. And it's like it's not immediate. If it was it's immediate, you should have called me. Yes. If Jelly it was a necessity, Sean, you should have left a message if you called me and didn't say anything. Sean is in that other room, and he is crafting, working on more boards, and he's listening to us. So, of course, he's got to run in with his two cents to, you know, set us straight. <laughs> I thought that would bring him back in here. Just set us straight. <laughs> Jasper, I didn't know the UK had a version of that. Huh. We're going to have to watch it. Brenda. <laughs> I swear. If that happens, chances are we'll have to end the live early. Uh-oh. What did she say? <laughs> I'm going to have to check that out today, um, Jasper. What's on a one series where um, they're turning the uh, like an old uh, house into like an Airbnb or something like that? Uh, there's an American version of it, and they started doing a UK version of it. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I'm not seeing that one. Yeah, because it was like a young couple bought this uh, house specifically with the intent of turning it into an Airbnb to make money off of it. Jelly Bean, you have a wonderful day and we will chat soon. Bye Jelly Bean. Thanks for hanging out. Ooh, I'm cleaning off my little butter off of my stencil and look Ooh. on my wet wipe. I would definitely set that aside and let it dry out so you can use it for other things. Yes. Because I discovered that using wet wipes and um, hand sanitizer is easier to clean your stencils than putting them under water. Okay. Now... I think of what I want to do on the list. Um, I think I'm going to bring out my Tim Holtz people. Oh. Wendy, it is, um, it is so good. Oh, Moana's on. So I have to tell you, um, we had our conversation about Willy Wonka last night. Um, and, you know, Gene Wilder, nobody can do Willy Wonka like him. He's the best. So Lip on Shameless is his grandson. Oh, yeah? Yes. I'm like, ooh. Um, he played in something else. Um, there's a series called 
it's the bear where he's a chef and he opens his own restaurant um that's him it say it's called the bear like as in grizzly bear yes I got completely different thoughts about <laughs> all that. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me see if I can find this kid. I love Gene Wilder too. Oh my gosh. Young Frankenstein was like one of my favorites. Willy Wonka. Oh my gosh, I watched that original for ever. Like every time it was on TV, I had to watch it. Hey, did did any of you guys ever see when uh, he guest starred on uh, Will and Grace? I don't know if any of you watched Will and Grace at all. I did, but I don't think I remember that episode, and I thought I seen them all. Uh, so the law firm or whatever Will worked for, Gene Wilder was his boss. Okay. And there were moments where Gene Wilder was acted completely nuts. This is Lip. His name's Philip, but they call him Lip on Shameless. He literally looks like a spinning image of Gene Wilder at a younger age. Yes. So, like, when they were talking about his grandpa, I'm like, who's his grandpa? And then it, like, showed them side by side. And I was uh... like, oh, my gosh, I see it now. <laughs> <laughs> huh did you know yes Rosanna Dana Dana they were so good together <laughs> Brenda. <laughs> I like, um, yes, I love, um, Jack and Karen, right? Her name's Karen. I oh my her. gosh. Those two are a hoot. I freaking love them. Yes. They, Their banter. Oh my word. They like, <laughs> are my favorites by far of any show. Mm-hmm. Like how they go back and forth is ridiculous. I'm just like, it oh, is. my word. And I then like, it. And then the way, like, Karen reacts when uh, she gets called out by Grace and in the, in the, at work. And she was like, who do you think I am? I, I, I'm, I'm going to go shopping now. Yes. Oh, I forgot my drugs. Like, <laughs> like, and, then my kid, and then Grace just looks completely dumped on it. It's like, you're on the clock. What are you doing? Yeah. And she's like, whatever I want. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> And her laugh. Oh, my God. I love it. I'm going to have to stream that show and watch all the episodes. See if it's on there. Now I saw I saw it on uh, one of the streaming services. I can't remember what streaming service I saw it on, though. I agree, Lori B. It definitely will get you out of a funk. You can't watch that and not laugh. Right. 
See, I watched it back in like middle school. Um, oh, that's a fun little ballerina. I watched it back in middle school. Uh, we had one of those uh, old uh, analog TVs where you had like the little crank dial in uh, our room. And uh, it was on at like 10 and we should be going to bed for like school in the morning. Now we would turn it on, put a blanket uh, under the door, well, near the bottom of the door, so the light from the TV wouldn't show through, and then we'd keep it at a low volume, so uh, we, uh, so they couldn't hear that we were still up uh, watching it. Harry, I'm trying yeah. to show you. It's not coming across very well. Yeah, Here we go. Washing out his face. See, Brenda, it definitely, when they're side by side, you see it. No. She thought he looked more like Sean Penn. Who's Sean Penn? He um, played Fast Time at Ridgemont High. Um, he was married to Madonna back in the 90s. Um, let me see. I don't keep track of who's married to who. Uh, anything says Johnny Depp. So here's a picture of him in the old days. And then him currently. Like the long hair. Yeah, that was him back at Best Times at Ridgemont High. No, oh, there we go. Um... You need to use a taller person for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can, there you go, you can sit on that. There you go. Casey, Brenda would like to know if you've ever seen Fast Times at Ridgemont High. It doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> Those guys are cute like that. Let's do that. Um, I'm not sure. Do you know who Phoebe Cates is, um, is, Casey? The name sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. I think the only reason why uh, it sounds familiar is because I think of Phoebe from uh, Friends. Friends. Oh, I love Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Bueller. 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 That is hilarious. I think that was, I'm trying to remember if that was the first time I saw that actor, the teacher, or if it was from The Mask when I first saw him. Where he was the psych, uh, the was he a psychiatrist or yeah. he was a uh, uh, a historian with uh, masks, like behind the symbolisms and everything. I can't remember.
Is this on? That's like saying, did you ever watch Breakfast Club or 16 Candles? All of my favorites. And um, then throw in Pretty with Pink. Drop Dead Fred was funny. I oh my gosh, Fred. I love Drop Dead Fred. Okay, so Phoebe Cates was in that. She's the dark-headed girl. The, the one with the imaginary friend? Yes. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Oh, Brenda. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. Breakfast Club is the best all-time movie ever. Yeah, Brenda, that definitely does not sound familiar. That sounds like something uh, my mom would definitely not want me watching when I was younger. Granted, she was the one that introduced us kids to watching Grease. So, and, see. And, and didn't think anything of it. Until we called her out on it. And it was like, you, you, do you know the lyrics of Grease Lightning, Mom? You introduced this movie to us when we were in elementary school. <laughs> Tristan grew up watching um, Breakfast Club. And then um, Too tall. growing up, you know, we watched most of the movies on television. So you had commercials and everything. Mm -hmm. So he was homesick one day in like the fourth grade. And we watched Breakfast Club. And I was like, oh. I forgot there was a pot smoking scene in here. Um, so it was easy. He was in the fourth grade. I'm like, it's just cigarettes. Not a big deal. So when he was done, we were, I'm like, oh, you'd like that? Let's watch 16 Candles. And the shower scene came on and I let my son see his first naked woman in 16 Candles in the fourth grade. <laughs> I'm like, oh. It's just the natural body. Like, nothing's wrong with that. I'm like, um, nope. forgot about that scene. It's not on regular television. <laughs> I was that mom. Mm. I don't remember. Brenda, was that in uh, the first Grease or the second Grease? I know a lot of us don't acknowledge the second Grease mm -hmm. because it was crap. I don't remember a. Um, I don't remember a diving um, board or. Uh, that was um, Fast Time at Ridgemont High. Perky Breast um, is also in 16 Candles. She gets felt up by her grandmother. Oh, gracious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's her birthday and everybody forgets and her grandma says, oh, you've gotten your boobs in and she fills her up. She never takes me for me. She wanted him as well. Stuck with her nose. Had a problem with his baby. My son said, would watch Josh for some. I'm looking to go. Okay, so. No, no, no. 
Wish I had like actual. This is pretty much. We can I turn to Yes, Judy, you had to go and rent it and. <laughs> I was exposed in um, Porky's. Mm -hmm. oh, this one has still in there. Let's check this one out. I think most of these are too big, though. Why does everybody have to be too tall or too small? Boo. And if we too tall to go that way. Uh, Why are you in there? You're, you're teeny tiny. Uh, because you guys were all the same thing. That's why. Yes. And Pee Wee. I barely made it through Grace. Only saving Grace was the stalker channing sense of humor and guest appearance of Frankie. Sense of humor. Sense of I've lost track of how many times I've watched uh, Grease. Yes, my mother was a huge John Travolta fan, so if he was in it, we were allowed to watch it. See, my mom had a thing for um, Steven Seagal, which I never understood. Yeah. Like I, I thought he was ugly, but he. Yeah, well. I don't. I don't see it either. But my mom is weird in a good way, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mom is a Sam Elliott fan, so you have that too. I, mean, it's, I think it's definitely a, well, I wouldn't even say it's a generational thing because you and my mom would be about the same age. We would be. Just thinking about that. There's those. Mm 
Because how, how old is mom? She is, let's see. Mom, I think it. 20, how old is mom? You're on live, Casey. Huh? How old is mom? Uh, I am. I'm figuring it out. Oh, she's not quite sixty yet. She's she's going to be sixty-seven uh, in September. Oh, I'm a seventy-two baby. Yeah, mom is. Uh, uh, if I remember right, she was born in sixty-seven. Okay. Okay, I think most of these are fine as is, but I feel like I want to add something else to them, but I don't know what. Michael. <laughs> Bye, Michael. Enjoy your game. We love you too, Michael. Pineapple juice all day long. <laughs> Wendy. You said you finally used your um, stencil butters. How did you like them? Uh. <laughs> Judy, pineapple <laughs> juice, Michael. Woo, woo. Earth shake. Brenda, he is right in between me and my sister. I was born in 72. She was born in 78. Let me put you guys over here. Sean was a 71 baby. He's older than me. Um... Brenda the Cougar. <laughs> um, let me think. Um, Judy, who was in the first A Star is Born? I didn't know that was a remake. Are you surprised, though? Like, no. Nowadays, like, nobody can come up with any uh, new or original ideas, so they have to remake everything. Yeah. 
And they usually do it like shortly after the leading role like passes. It seems like anyways. Cause I think it's uh I think it's a contractual thing. They can't recast the role as long as the person who originally filled the role uh, is still uh, alive. Okay. Oh, okay. Judy, now I think I remember seeing that as a kid. Just wasn't sure that was the name. And welcome back, Tushi. Welcome back, Linda. <laughs> Where is Wilson at? I know she's awake. Oh my gosh, could you imagine the trouble if she entered into the conversation? Right? <laughs> not, not that we are already in enough trouble with each other. <laughs> <laughs> and Aaron... Aaron should be getting up out of bed. Judy, you're only as old as you feel. Is that mentally or physically? <laughs> Whichever. <laughs> I feel I, like mentally, like I, I, I will always feel younger, but like my body is like, yeah, you thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And usually my body wins out. <laughs> I'm going to scrub this later. Although after trying to clean all of my stencils, I'm like, I don't think I'm going to be a stencil cleaner. I usually just get a pan or some type of dish that's like big enough to lay them all in. And then I just put like uh, some warm water in it, not hot, like just warm water so I don't melt them and just let it set in there for a few minutes. And usually it comes right off. I don't but that, know. But that's been my luck. I did that and I still have to scrub them and they didn't come off and I'm like okay so I do like this wet wipe and hand sanitizer but on these delicate strips you have to get every strip yeah did you try putting like a mild soap in it I did I put Dawn in it really you would think that would have helped but I've not cleaned my stencils since I started either. I think I cleaned them the first time. And then after that, I didn't have time to clean them. So the hand sanitizer and stuff is really good. Good morning, Miss Carol. Good morning, Carol. Thank you, Tushi. Oh, now I have Murphy's oil soap for my uh, jelly plates, but I'll have to try putting them in there and see. See, I still need to get that stuff for like my jelly plate and stuff, but like typically. Well, for conditioning it, but like, um, who, someone read the instructions on it, on jelly, uh, cleaning your jelly plate. It just says use a mild soap and water. That's it. 
No need to use anything uh, special. Yep. I was like, oh, that's good to know. <laughs> Robin McClendon, she uses a baby wipe, and then she um, puts mineral oil on her plate to condition, and that's it. Yeah. All right, let's see what other stencils we want to dig out this morning. We're going to call that done. Labels. So, so far this morning, I got this one completed. I like that. That's fun. I got this one completed. Ooh, I love the different layers you got going on there. Thank you. We completed this one. I still like that color wheel stencil. That's so fun. I will see if I can find it and send you the link. I found it on Amazon. Oh, okay. And then I got labels going to town here. So when I make my ATC cards, I can use my labels. More labels. And I think some stamp text would be fun on those labels, like the like handwriting. Yes. Stamps, I think uh, that would be fun on those. I don't have um, them in here. I was looking for the numbers. Um, well, that would be fun, too. So I have to locate those. And then I have these labels. So once I find the, the um, words and the numbers, I will put them on probably in black. That's what I was thinking, to add some contrast. Yep. And then those will be done. And I think I have a lot of labels, so. Carol, we are trying, I am trying to um, tackle and finish up a bunch of the ones that I have started because you get a lot of different papers going on. Um, here's just a fraction. <laughs> I have a huge stack. So I'm trying to finish some today and figure out if like this one I'm going to put back over and I'm going to use it to do pull-offs, and then I can Aren't they pretty, Paula? But like this one, I got some on both sides. I'm going to finish that off. Oh, thank you, Paula. J Mac's here. Hello, J Mac. Good Hello, morning. J Mac. I haven't seen you in a while. I need to. All right. Um, the ones I am. Oh, well, for jelly printing, I usually use my uh, 12 by 12 cardstock. I have like in multiple colors just because I have a surplus of it and I need it used up. Otherwise, uh, copy paper is a really good one. Uh, both uh, both of us use um, unwanted card stock with like the pattern ones that like we we're just like meh. Yeah. And I use um, copy paper. I try to use all of my scrap paper. Hey, Janine. Save it. Man. Good morning, Janine. And then I use cardstock and I have um, resume paper. I have rice paper. I have tissue paper. Oh, ledger paper is fun to use too. 
Yes. So I just experiment with paper. Uh, Brenda, mine automatically uh, sets itself. Mine too. The only one, the only clocks I have to readjust is my microwave, stove, and my coffee maker. Just a little bit going on, J Mac. Just a little. Let's see. Oh, Alexander Hamilton. So I shared with everyone that I found some Tim Holtz sets on Clarence at Joann's before I went on vacation, and that's what I'm using this morning. I spent Sean spending money. Well, let's see. What colors do we want to put on here? Yes, Linda, they, they'll work. It's one of those things, like, you can use just about any paper on a jelly printing. Um, the only thing you have to watch out for is uh, potentially how much uh, paint you're putting down and, like, the structural integrity of the paper like uh as it gets moistened like it will it hold up yeah but, mo but most papers work like most different uh weights of paper works um i wouldn't it's hit and miss with uh book pages yes like the older the book the harder i think it is for it to work it wants to stick to the plate and the paint are the ones that i've tried have been hard to use let's go with some gold But I use regular paper in case I want to use it to put into the journal. Use it as my journal page. Did you get your jelly plate, Linda, and you're all set up and ready to go? Or did you already have one? Yes, Paula, I love uh, Tim Holtz paper dolls too. I need to, uh, I have so many like uh, people images, like pictures. I want to uh, take the time and fussy cut them out. That way I have some of my own like, from like actual photos. I mean, these are from actual photos, but uh, from the sounds of it, uh, Tim Holtz had to like purchase rights to the pictures before he could uh, sell them and everything, which makes sense. I have Tim Holtz people, but I don't use them because I'm hoarding them. Like, if I use them all, then I have to buy more. <laughs> well, and the thing that stinks is, like, so, some of the sizes you can't even get anymore. I know. I'm like, if I use it, then what if I can't get it? Oh, my God. Just don't use it. <laughs> Why? Well, I'm supposed So, I have, like, whoa, I have, like, this tote thing that specifically just has, like, Tim Holtz stuff in it. And then I got a little like briefcase thing that has specifically just Tim Holtz stuff in it. So like I have all of this pulled specifically to use my Tim Holtz because otherwise, yeah, it just sits there and it has its own little like special spot that it needs to be in. But like, otherwise it, it just sits there, collects dust. I'm just like, 
Yes. Put all this, I put all this money into it. I'm not even using it. Yes. And that's what I do because then like I, I start into this paper business and I fall in love with his paper and then he quits making it. Right. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, what if he stops making the, the people? So I need to not use them. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm having a hard time using any of his paper because like it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> like and I'm so sad about it. Linda, if you oh that stencil butter is amazing. I told Wendy she needs to stock back up because I will I love that butter. Oh yeah, J Mac's been stocking up on uh, her Tim Holtz. Uh, I know she had some like multiples and everything too. J Mac, I'll probably have to do that. See, and every time I go to a cell and someone's selling it. I'm like, I, I have to buy it because he's going to stop making it. And then when I use it, I'm going to be all out. And uh, that's what goes through my head. A little, you know, OCD crazy goes on. <laughs> See, and like, I avoid buying it unless I can get it on sale though. That's my thing. Like, cause as much as I love his stuff, it is like pretty expensive. So I, I will only get it on sale, whether it's clearance or just like the 30 or 40% off at uh, Joanne's. I will, I will almost never buy it a uh, uh, full price. I'm sure he'll come up with a new size of people soon enough. And once everyone shows in for his paper he will hmm. it is the yes. the stencil butter I took I used a paste um I think it was a Tim Holtz paste and I was like oh okay this is okay but I used the stencil butter by TCW and oh my gosh there's a huge difference Oh. I agree, Carol. No, some people like something so much they don't want it. They want one for themselves, I think, and everyone is creative. It's me. I fit that category. Communication is a sincere form. Yeah. I like a lot of his like papers and collage. I, I even like a lot of his uh, stamp sets and everything. But again, like his stamp sets are even expensive. I like my toes locked up for a moment. Now, I think if his stamp set and being a bar was side by side, I think I would choose the Finnabar. Oh no, a hundred percent. Yeah. Like I like I there's a lot Finnabar has a lot of uh bits and bobs, molds, paste, paints, waxes, like they are specifically like very mixed media oriented and I would I would Full on do a shopping spree with Finnabar if uh, they had it locally, like in a store. 
Yes. I wish y'all could see what I see. She has her Mickey ears on painting. Mm -hmm. You are not supposed to tell anyone. <laughs> I had to go get them, so I might as well wear them. Are, are they her Ursula ones? Yes, and her and her glasses that she's wearing matches. Oh, fantastic! Oh yes, Sean, you are fired, fired. <sighs> Well, you, Sean, you know what that means. You you got to be matching. You got to go put on yours. Yeah, that's true. I didn't get none. I did get me a, a Toy Story baseball cap. Oh, there you go. No. Oh, yeah, you did get the hat and the shirt. Yeah. Pizza Planet. Pizza Planet. Pizza Planet. Pizza Planet. <laughs> Pizza Planet. So here's what I got so far with... Uh, my slightly larger uh, ATCs. I might put something here yet. I'm not sure. So like a ward could go there. Look at this little dude. It's freaking adorable. Those are nice, Casey. I like them. Here, let me put it on you. Yes, honey. Now they would like a picture. Of what? Here. I need to put something up here. I'm not sure what yet, though. <laughs> so that's for the big ones. So I'm going to start working on the smaller ones now. Okay, you can switch back. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Carol, adding some words here and there. I don't ha I never got around to getting any of Tim Holt's like sticker words or anything like that. I don't know. That's just one of those things. I'm just like, yeah, that's definitely not something I need. Okay, now these ones are actually ATC size. Oh. All right, you guys, here you go. This is what he walks in and sees. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> I'm like, I had to put them on. You're like, you are totally in fun craft mode. It's just like, let's go. <laughs> I am. I'm like, hello. I'm a queen. <laughs> that's adorable. I love that. How else am I going to get use out of them? I think people are going to laugh at me when I go to the grocery store and I wear them. You would too. I, I will. I, I <laughs> yeah. We'll go to dinner and I'm going to wear them. <laughs> My son will die. <laughs> He's like, mother, what are you doing? <laughs> Embarrassing you? Is it working? Yes. Stop. I don't know you. <laughs> However, I have taught him well because his um, fiance is an only child. She's from Kentucky. And they were going out somewhere. And she calls me and she goes, oh, my God, your son is so embarrassing. And I said, what did he do? And she was like, 
I got out to get our mail and there were people out at our apartment complex and he rose the window down and goes, babe, do you got a poop? <laughs> oh yeah. You told me about that. Yes. So he continues to do that. So, so she is getting the, my son has picked up my bad habits. <laughs> It does, Carol. Now, Carol, they are talking. It's, Disney is on the table for Destination Wedding, as well as New Orleans. And I asked Abby, I said, oh, if you get married at Disney, can I buy you the bride and groom ears and you wear them? Because I'm going to wear my ears. And she goes, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine the sass with those, like, no. Yeah, no, she said, that. ears will be allowed at the reception. But if you think you have to wear the ears to the wedding, then you can't come. I'm like, what? I can't wear ears to the wedding? <laughs> Say, excuse me? But I told her, I said, hey, it's your day. You got to lay down the law, what's allowed, what's not allowed. It's your day. True. Very true. If you don't lay it down, nobody else will. I think I'm going to do the pearl white. Oh, Wendy, are you... Looking to see what, um, oh, Carol, um, Disney, they have a wedding chapel. Um, they have over 30 different destinations that you can get married, locations that you can get married. One being my favorite, the tree of life. Um, you have all these animals. You can get married in front of the castle. You can get married in front of the tree of life. You can get married at the resorts, in a gazebo, in the um, chapel. You name it. You can have Cinderella's castle pick you up and take you to the wedding. You can have them take you to the reception. It's amazing. I want to work in the wedding department. <laughs> Uh, elbow. It is. My husband had never been when we got married and he wouldn't fly to Hawaii. So I took him to Disney and we went every other year um, until we had Tristan. And then we took him when he was three because he was free. And then we took him back for his fifth birthday and his seventh birthday. And then when he was nine, he said, I don't want to go to Disney. I don't like it. I'm like, what? Are you my kid? Where's my kid? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So now Sean is hooked. And Sean does not ride rides. He will ride like It's a Small World and the Pirates of the Caribbean. But no roller coasters or thrill rides for Sean. So I meet people all the time because... I'm riding the rides. I will single ride that stuff all day long. J Mac. 
I thought Sean was going to get sick the first time I got him on a plane, too. Um, that's when we took Tristan, when he was nine, to Washington, D.C. and New York City. And I had to get them both medications. And poor Sean had to sit next to a lady that was so sweet. She talked to Sean like she knew him forever. And he was lucky to have her over there. Because neither one of them was sitting by the window. Good morning, Miss Cat. Good morning, Miss Cat. How are you? Are you feeling better? Well, at least it's an improvement, Miss Cat. Brenda, I would not mind them doing justice of the piece, but Tristan decided that he was not going to give his mother senior pictures. He refused to take senior pictures. He did not walk across the stage when he graduated. Um, we did no prom. So mom didn't get any of those. So I told him if he went to the justice of the peace, I would never let him hear the end of it. I would be there because he's my son, but I would never let him hear the end of it. You know, at Christmas, I'll be like, here's your um, one gift because, you know, justice of the peace happened. <laughs> Oh, Brenda, he would. He people watches. He tells me about all the people. Sometimes I get pictures. We got off of um, one of the water rides one year. And I have this picture of this lady in white running shorts. And she's got on a till G-string. You can oh, see. Oh, for gracious sake! You can see through her shorts. He goes, look, babe, you missed this. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that poor thing. So he takes pictures for me. And Judy had, he gave me all the other stuff. I would be all for that. I'd be like, here, I'll drive you down there. We'll have a big reception. Yeah, Casey, did you cut up one of your other jelly prints? Is that what you're using for your strips? Oh, this is from an old thing I did. Um, yes, it was a jelly print I had stamped on and uh, uh, did some stenciling with, uh, I don't know if it was a gesso or modeling paste, but these were just like scraps I had that I'm using for uh, layering. Yep, Judy, um, him and Abby um, both work for Toyota here in Indiana. So they want a very small, intimate wedding. I think it's just going to be me and Sean and then her parents. And she's afraid if she has it here, then other people are going to be invited and she doesn't want that. So... Destination wedding it is for six. 
Well, that'll at least keep the cost down. Yes. And I may be staying at Brenda's house. <laughs> Let me move over, Brenda. I'm coming. Well, that's an adventure waiting to happen. <laughs> so everybody be aware I might need um, bell money. Uh, <laughs> um, ATC cards, Miss um, Cat. <laughs> Let's see. Turn that heart into stone. So I have it for This is what I have known. I haven't seen Miss Elisa around lately either. Yeah. Hmm. Missing a bunch of our regular gals. We are. Yes, Rodeo Elisa. Not seen her, and we've not seen Danielle. And where's Sweetheart? She's quiet all of a sudden, and that never happens. Somebody sounds tired. Who? You. Uh, I was just stretching. Like I, I have my setup uh, upstairs right now on the couch. Oh. Okay. And uh, the table I'm using sits higher, so it, it's slightly more uncomfortable. Gotcha. So, yeah. So it, it gets my neck all tight and everything. But I put like two or three pillows underneath me to raise me up a little bit. So it's a little bit of an improvement, but. Hmm. I'm liking where most of these are going so far. Another week of the rodeo. That's right. I forgot about the rodeo. <laughs> Sweetheart is gone. She just left us. Rude. Very rude. <laughs> Bernie has the hardest time with finding his place. Brenda, he's, or Brenda, Kathy, he has a nice setup downstairs. I like yeah. his little setup. Yeah, like my setup's real nice downstairs, um, but uh, Friday, yeah, Friday, uh, I was working on ATCs with Michael, and we were doing a laughing craft, like a private laughing craft with uh, the HPP uh, retreat group. So I don't have enough room downstairs to have Michael in there at the same time. So I brought literally like about half my craft room upstairs. So uh, like because I had uh, the camera here a little bit, quite a bit higher, so we could both be seen in the live, well, in the chat. So, but I just haven't 
used any energy to bring any of it back downstairs. Plus, I found being up here, I have natural light, which I prefer, and like I can actually enjoy looking outside periodically. That's one thing I don't like about my craft room is that I have no windows down there. It's in the basement. I I keep trying to talk my roommate into busting a hole in the in the wall down there so I can have some natural sunlight in the craft room. He he's not about it. Not about it. Hmm. He just doesn't get it. <laughs> Yeah, the the laughing craft thing was a lot of fun. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun, J Mac, uh, in the low uh, private craft session we did. Uh, about half of us were working on our ATCs because we have to have like I think thirteen ATCs done for it. Um, because we'll be swapping them in between each other. And I think there's going to be like some type of fundraiser thing going on. And then uh, we have to have uh, a couple uh, art like journal pages done. Because there, there'll be like two um, journals that will be auctioned off at the retreat. So we have to, we we each have to uh, contribute a page uh, per journal. So, yeah. Well, well, one gets auctioned off, and then the other one's more of a um, basically a memory journal. It'll go into the HPP uh, like retreat vault, I guess. But yeah. But yeah. So it's been fun. Um, let's see. I like doing these layers with these. These are fun. I agree, J Mac. Paula and uh, Paula. Whew, Paula must be talking about me. Um, Jill and I are looking. We would like to do one here in the Midwest. Ooh, that would be fun. I'm game. Because Evansville has a regional airport, so I can pick people up. Sean can pick people up. Sean can smoke a butt for us. Um, so there's different stuff that we're looking at. Um, okay, Brenda. So on the way back, we bought Powerball and Megaball in Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, and Indiana, five States. So we were talking and my sister was like, what are you going to do if you win one of the lotteries? I said, I'm going to buy land in the country. I'm going to build me a big house and then I'm going to build a big, um, paper retreat place where I can house 25 to 30 people. <laughs> she was like, um, okay. <laughs> but that's what I would do. Yeah, um, Carol, it is the first weekend, uh, Wednesday in May. I, I just typed it in. Okay. Because you were talking, so I'm just like, I'll just type this in. I'm not very fast at typing on my uh, laptop, though. <laughs> <laughs> Mm 
Yeah, a whole week. It's fantastic because I know a lot of uh, retreats are just like over the weekend. But if you're uh, so, what they figured out is like it is more expensive to fly over the weekend than it is in the middle of the week, and uh, they felt that it's kind of disappointing to go there like only for like a day or two and then have to pack everything up to leave the next day. So it was like, well, we're just going to make a whole week long retreat. That way you got plenty of time to uh, actually do things. And we're, uh, we're also going to be getting a, uh, 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 those who are going are going to be getting an extra little discount uh, shopping at the HPP uh, store. Very nice. Yes, J Mac. I'm going to the actual retreat. I'm super excited, especially for it being my first retreat ever. Oh. Hmm. Oh, Brenda, I would move in. Me and Sean would be there. I still would use stream build a craft on me. But it's law houses for people to stay in long here. Ooh, that would be fun. That would be fun. This mm, don't want to go that part. Yeah. Uh, some of these would be fun, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, big stretch, Blue, big stretch. All right, bye, J-Mac. Thanks for hanging out. Hi, J-Mac. It was good to see you or chat with you. <laughs> Does anyone have anything interesting going on on their channels or in live? You doing anything big? I need to uh, come up with a second project for uh, the Maker's Skilled thing for Patty at some point. Oh, that's the mixed media thingy that you're doing? Yeah, that I've been doing, yeah. 
Because I finished the I finished the other one. Oh, you'll have to show it off. Yep. Yeah, I need a I need well it's not it's it's like ninety nine percent finished. I wanna drill a hole through the back and put some lights through it to light it up a little bit, but besides that it's done. Okay. Yeah, but I think it's going to look fantastic, uh, all uh, lit up and everything, especially the kind of vibe it's going for. Thinking for your next one, um, Diana. I I haven't really thought about it. Well, where the one I finished was more masculine. I was th I have some images from uh, Patty that are female or like uh, ladies' magazine or Goaty or what have you. So I'm thinking I might try to make it more on the feminine side. Like probably I'll probably still stick to the industrial, but like more like woman uh women industrial. If I can. But that that's kind of where I'm leaning towards. All by ourselves on this cat's channel. Yeah, uh, Miss Cat will be doing a showcasing mon uh, Monday with Chiquita and then me on Wednesday. And I still have to get her my schedule. Uh, Diana, uh, I, it, it still will lean towards a steampunk. It'll definitely still lean that way. Sinking six wells at the uh, all, all the plumbing to each place. All the city, even though the parking lot has this one up into the ways. Oh, interesting. Um, I want something else. I think these little t uh, tickets I made are working out perfectly, though. I need something else. Brenda, I know where you could get you a plumber. <laughs> sure was someone. Mm -hmm. 
These are not what I'm going for. Elsewhere, it looks like. I'm two, I'm a ten. I think that would be a fabulous idea. Have a compound. I forgot I had Tim Holtz tickets. I feel like I already have these out somewhere else, so. Hmm. Oh, I forgot I had fabric washies. I'll be fine. I'll take both of these out. I love finding stuff in my stash and be like, oh, I didn't know I had that. Oh, look, I have that. That's always a good thing. Okay, I need something that doesn't have too much body and then I can <laughs> I bet you have just as much stuff Miss Sweetheart <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, ah. Stay. Quiet too. Is she gone too and didn't tell us she was leaving? I don't recall. Raise of hands for who's all still here. <laughs> Miss Cat. <laughs> I 
Oh, Linda is still here. Wendy's still here. Carol's nice. still here. Well, thank you all for still sticking in with us. I'm making a huge mess. <laughs> Look at my hands today. <laughs> See, you're actually getting to the messy bit of doing all this. Yes. And I'm playing it safe by just playing with paper. That'll be fun to use. But I still have my ears on. Not <laughs> <laughs> me, I left, but my ghost is still typing that annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cat's having an out of body experience uh, reacting with uh, Brenda. <laughs> well, there you go, Kathy. Work around. The bears did it. Just get you a bear suit and put it on. She won't know the difference. Or, or we could hire some bears. Uh, get some, get some nice burly men in there. Yeah. Uh, Brenda's tight. You had a chicken pot pie for breakfast. <laughs> I think that was a Wilson. Cause we had um, the cube steak yesterday, and we're having meatloaf tonight. I'll make Sean eat paint when I mix up. <laughs> Sean eat paint. <laughs> and my hands would come off, <laughs> come clean in the ground beef. <laughs> Hello, Michael. Michael. Welcome back. Dun, dun, dun. The game wasn't as fun as us. <laughs> or is it downloading? Ooh, Cheddar's Country Fried Steak. I knew that's what it was. <laughs> I love Country Fried Steak. Do you? Yeah, it's so, or, or was it chicken fried steak? Same thing, isn't it? Uh, well, one is made with a beef and one is chicken, but it's basically the same thing. Yeah. It's so good. I love having that for breakfast, like with uh, gravy, eggs, and hash browns. Yes. Mm. Man, now I want to go eat at Penelope's Cafe. They have the <laughs> Best country fried steak. This, this, and it's are not they that open? expensive. They're uh, not. Oh, yeah, they're, they're open. Pretty sure they're open on Sundays. I can't remember. There you go. Uh, but, like, uh, I think I get up Pen uh, the whole thing at Penelope's for like, how much does that usually cost? I think it's only like 10 bucks for the meal. Okay. And that's counting like having coffee with it too. So, I, yeah, it's really, really good. Michael, she 
she's asking what yeah like what uh type of games do you play and what on what platform like what what's your genre Most of these are set ready to go. Bye, Wendy. Thanks for hanging out with us. You have a wonderful Sunday. Bye, Wendy. You let me know when you find out what color um, butters you can order. I love this song coming on. What a weird thing to call it. Butter. Butter. Butters. I know, but it it's smooth like butter. Well, hi, Marion. Are you just chillaxing, huh? That one's done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I used to go. Parquet? Do you, do you mean porquet? Brenda? little letter stamp so got some letters no oh, uh we're not mm. oh parquet butter Yep, yep.
Uh, we we tried. We had a bit of a bumpy road here and there. Um, but we still get together and hang out and everything. Um, mainly trying to uh, get our uh, bearings and everything. Janine, I like this TCW stencil better. Bits and pieces of the color. Um, I've got it in all kinds of different colors. Whatever Wendy sells, I buy it. <laughs> if I don't have the color, I buy it. And this is how it looks on your project. Yeah, with one. And I thought I'd put it on another one, but I don't see it. You both will figure it out along the way. Yep, yep. It's just as another journey in your life. What is going on? And Janine, I have asked um, Wendy to get on more colors. Um, they have a ton more colors that I don't have. So she is going to try to locate those and hopefully have them at one of her future selves. And I do have a set in my kit or my giveaway box for when we hit 500 subscribers. I'm stuck at the 455 to 457 range. I'm going to stand still. <laughs> Diana. <laughs> uh, Blue sleeps in her kennel. Because we, uh, Jacob and I don't trust her to not get into mischief while we're sleeping. So she sleeps in her kennel. Janine, I think they're like seven or eight dollars um like 28 dollars for a set of four if you can find them in the set of four it's right around that 30 dollars brenda to who's Who's get who's getting married? All right, Miss Cap. You message and we will see what we can do. Let me talk precious guy to HBO. 
my old one, but this one sucks as far. Green. I would talk printers, but um, I don't have much experience with printers besides my new one uh, only let me scan so much uh, currently. Mine's uh, uh, HPP uh, or not HPP, uh, HP Workforce or Epson Workforce, something like that. Um, let's see. Let's see, Carol, I have two printers. Both are HPs. Let me see what this one is that I like better than the other one. I think the one that I like the most is a 5800 model and the other one's a 6000 MV which I used to really like until I got this other one. Good morning Deb. How are you? Oh, good morning, Deb. How are you? Are you just waking up? Or are you just coming around? Or were you trying to avoid us all day? <laughs> I mean, if she was lurking, probably. <laughs> <laughs> At least earlier. Yeah, I'm not sure she wanted to come in and test the waters. With everybody being a promiscuous funk. <laughs> so I have the HP MV 6000 series, which is okay. And then I have the HP Office Jet Pro 8. 1030 series and I like it better than the MV. And I'm not sure that I love it, but I like it a lot better than the MV. Yeah, so as for uh, Janine, as for uh, the two dogs, uh, Merlin usually sleeps with his dad with Jacob at, uh, every night and then blue goes into her kennel. Um, I personally wouldn't mind having blue as like a snuggle buddy at night, but I need to be able to maintain my space downstairs before I, um, have her, uh, be a sleeping companion. Um, uh, because, uh, she has history of, um, liking to eat, um, underwear and stuff like that. So clean or dirty, it doesn't matter. Like if, if she gets a hold of it, it's going to be devoured. So. What is your printer doing, Carol? Like my 6,000 MV doesn't want to feed card stock through very well. It does it, but it's super slow. The other one does card stock. So I have it set up to print card stock all the time. And my other printer is just strictly copy paper. Okay. So 
Deb, are you running any kind of specials in your Etsy shop or what are what items are you putting in there that are new? They are inkjet printers. Yeah, the Office Jet Pros, I think, are much better than the Envies. Excuse me. And Casey will join this conversation once he gets his figured out. Not right. <laughs> And from what I can tell, they scan pretty well, but yeah, once I get all that, like, I, 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 I personally don't understand, like, why it's, like, limiting how much I can scan to my laptop when I have plenty of room on my laptop and everything. I, I don't get it. Yes. Like. I think I think Brenda mentioned uh, a while ago when I was originally having the issue that it might be the printer's memory, which I don't understand exactly like how it could be the printer's memory because if it's being scanned directly to my laptop, it shouldn't be saving anything on the printer. So I, I, I don't get it. Like I said previously, I'm not tech savvy. Like, like even in school, like I was never like uh, very good like with computers or anything like that. Like, because it's never been a necessity for me. So like when I when I did like computer classes in high school and everything. Like, I was always, like, the slowest one when it came to typing and completing projects and stuff like that. So, like, I was like, I didn't see a use for it. And even nowadays, I don't really use a computer. Like, I have my laptop, like, right here in front of me for this. But, like, I don't use, like, um, document programs or anything like that. I don't use, like, Photoshop for anything. So... Janine, you have four babies. I bet the Frenchies are cute as can be. Uh, my magenta and yellow um, are not combined in one. I have separate in the office jet. All right, Deb, I'll have to go check them out. Judy, you just started a Etsy shop. What's the name of your Etsy shop, Judy? I'm going to make you both mods so you can post your Etsy shops in here. Deb, you are good to go to add your link, and so are you, Judy. If you want to. You don't have to. The option's there. We're all about supporting others. Yes. Um, Janine, I would ask Jelly Bean, she prints fabric on her computer or her printer.
Okay, Judy, I will go check you out um, when we get off of here and give you some feedback. Yeah, I would reach out to her um, and ask her, Janine, what printer she recommends. Carol, what printer, was that the Epson tank that you have? <laughs> All right, Leah, we thought you left us and didn't say anything. Sometimes you just got to rest. I'm surprised have, Brenda hasn't went to bed. Did you have a good nap, Leah? Okay. And do you work on the same? Oh, Janine, I would love to see pictures of your quilts. Good morning. Whoops. All right, now what do I want to do? Oh, yeah, the screen. Some of these on. Excuse me. Oh yeah, this uh, is uh, the Tim Holtz baseboards. This is actually two packs of it shoved into one. There's the item number. I got Clarence at Hobby Lobby. I got it for a dollar sixty-two for uh, the pack. Hey. For each pack, rather. Yeah, but they're like thick chipboards. Mm. 
You saw an elephant. Where'd you see an elephant at? On the back cover. Oh. That guy? Yeah. Ah, elbow. All right, let's see. Thing is, I'm so OCD with like everything I don't, with these being bigger items, I, I like it being organized and. Bye, Linda. Thank you for coming in. Oh, bye, Linda. Have fun building the crib. That's the best part of the day. Bye, Tushi. <laughs> what what did I miss? Oh see, playing my games on my phone, I wake up with my fingers right <laughs> Oh my gosh, the amount of times like I've attempted to play like video games like Halo uh back in high uh what it, yeah, high school. Um like I would be so tired that like I have my thumb on the joystick and my player is just like running around in circles. <laughs> I like the t amount of time because in high school, Chris and my brother, him and I had a, a apartment together, and the amount of times he's come home and I've been like on the uh, Xbox. And he just sees my player running in circles and is like, oh, Casey fell asleep on the couch playing Halo again. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Carol's um, comment? Which Those um, kits, the Tim Holtz kits, are about $15 in Canada. Oh really? Because this one was originally like six forty nine at Hobby Lobby. I don't know how much they usually sell for. Uh, like, let's say on Simon Says Stamp or whatever. I know usually, uh, like, I can get most of this stuff cheaper at work than I can like online. Yes. Well, online is convenient. Sometimes it's more cost effective to get it in store, depending. It's hit and miss like uh, here in Lincoln to find any Tim Holtz. Like the only place I can ever find Tim Holtz really like a decent selection is Joanne's. That's about it. Um, there is a local. Uh... Hey, how's it going, Charlene? Welcome. Hi, this Charlene. is late for you. It is. Oh, there's the other thing. Um, we, yeah, we do have a local uh, paper crafting store up in Omaha. 
that has quite a bit of Tim Holtz and other things. Um, I think they even have some Stamperia and stuff up there. But I, I don't – I rarely have an opportunity to get up there to uh, get anything, though. Cooking morning for me. Ooh, yummy. That sounds so good. It does. What time are we eating? <laughs> We're all coming, Charlene. Yep. Road trip. Oh, gracious me. <laughs> Mr. Casey, it is after 12. It is. I was just thinking, it's like, I was thinking about like just finishing these and then calling it, but I have to figure out like what's going to go with what, which is going to be a whole nother thing. Mm. Everything's fairly square though. I bet the house smells amazing. I'd probably gain 10 pounds just from the smell. <laughs> Who? I don't know if I want grape soda on there. Let's do... Sure, we'll go with that. And then... Hmm. Oh, bye, Carol. You have a good one. Bye, Carol. Thank you for coming and watching. When you're done with your dishes, I have some too. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you guys ever like smell the things you coffee dye and be like, oh my gosh, that smells so good? Yes. I have some coffee dyed like gauze or whatever, and it almost smells like sweet. It smells so good. Gary decided on a pork loin today is defrosting. He will cut bit like a jelly roll and put a spinach leaves garlic compote <sighs> all right brenda we're coming to your house after we eat at charlene's 
Yeah, we always need second helpings. Yes. Yeah. I'm just having meatloaf. <laughs> I still have to figure out what I'm eating. I have not even thought about it. I I bought uh, some hamburger the other day. I still have yet to break up and uh, and uh, Ziploc bag them and freeze some. Yes. I still have to get around to that. The other day when I got it, I was just so beat. I'm just like, I'm just going to make my dinner and keep this in the fridge and then I'll get around to it. I just need to make sure I don't wait too long to do it. Otherwise, I, I just wasted like $15 in hamburger. Yes. And sometimes I get it and I fry all of the ground beef and then I freeze it. Yeah. Like that's one thing. Like uh, I know a lot of people do. Like, sure, Michael. What time should I be there? <laughs> first time steak sounds good it does sound good salad baked potato macaroni and cheese <laughs> you know the fixings for steak Well, too bad uh, Michael's allergic to asparagus because I like asparagus. Oh, asparagus is my favorite. Mm -hmm. All oh. right. I think I'm at a place where I can call it for today. I think I like that. I got to get some stuff done for before I go to work tomorrow. I really don't want to clean all this up. Me either. I'm like, uh, can I just leave it? Oh, I know for a fact I can't just leave it. Like, this is in the main living room upstairs. There's no way I can leave this. Yeah, the dogs would have stuff everywhere. As soon as you think it's okay, they're not bothering it. They'll be all over it. Well, this is like the shared living room. So, like, I have my living room downstairs, and then this is a shared one. So, like, I, I just can't leave it because uh, Jacob comes home back home today from a convention. So, like, it needs to be cleaned up. Oh, bacon wrapped asparagus is my absolute favorite. Mm -hmm. That sounds so good. It does. I love bacon wrapped uh, stuffed jalapenos. Those are good too. Although yeah, my. Go ahead. We got some jalapeno um, bites from Papa John's. Oh, my God. They were so hot. Sean couldn't eat them. I couldn't eat them. Oh, they were so hot. The, the stuffed jalapenos were? Yes. Probably because they didn't clean out the seeds like they're supposed to. Like. Because the seeds is what uh, carries all the spice. Sean they, made fun of me the first time because I couldn't eat them. I'm like, oh my gosh, my nose is running. I'm like full blown sweat going on from one bite. And he's just a laughing. So the next time we got him, like I smelled it and I'm like, I can't even eat that. Oh my God, it's making my stomach turn already. So he bites into it and I look over and he's sweating. He goes, oh my God, this is so hot. He yep. was done. Yeah, like you're supposed to clean out the seeds from it. Like, I mean, unless you're like one of those that like really like spice and everything, you can actually do spice. But typically you're supposed to clean out uh, all the seeds from it. Sean typically can do some spice, but man, whew.
Yes, bacon wrapped poppers are definitely good, Janine. See, Brenda, those pressure cookers scare the living daylights out of me. I've seen pictures where somebody was canning and the, the whole thing exploded and her kitchen was destroyed. I'm like, no, thank you. Can't do it. I get the idea behind it, but like nine yeah. times out of ten, it's a bad idea. Well, but well, I think it's just like you have to know like exactly how to do it. Like it's like a science on doing it so it doesn't blow up in your face. <laughs> it feels like. Yeah, it's you see these people or, that have been canning for years and then disasters that hit and I'm like, no, thank you. No. I gotta see if I have some acetone in the house because I really need to thin out my glue. I'm gonna clean this little plate. Got paint stuck on it from today. Do some bags. Oh my gosh, like go my fingers. All right, bye Janine. You have a good one. Bye, Janine. You have a good day. I've been at ATC like fanatic today. Holy crap. This is just one of those things like that becomes addicting. You can just keep playing and playing and playing as long as you got like small bits here and there that you can use up. And I'm really, really craving breakfast food right now. Oh, I could eat breakfast every day of the week, I think. Yeah. And I'm good with just eggs and toast. I don't need meat. I don't...
that's what I want. Wow. Charlene, what kind of stuff do you can in your um, canner? What's your favorite thing to can? Let's try burgundy. I gotta get this plate cleaned up. My husband's gonna come in here and shoot me because I need to start dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty gauze. Rusty gauze would be fun. My fingers, you too. Oh, that was a good idea. Cannon dog food. Where's the milk? Can I do a pressure cream by meats? Do a pressure cream. Ooh, jalapeno and pineapple jam. Ooh. Yum. Had jalapeno and what is it? strawberry? Is that the jam that they put in the stores? But I've not had pineapple. Jalapeno and pineapple is really good on uh, burgers. Yeah, it sounds good. Especially if you get like a fried ham on it. Wow, Casey, yum.
boiled corn on the cob jalapeno jam. That sounds interesting. That sounds really interesting. Look, she said corn on the cob, and I'm all like, what? <laughs> All right, ladies, I think I'm going to have to call it a day. I'm going to have to go potty, and I need to do dishes and get stuff ready for the work day. My son's coming soon. So i got to get cleaned up. <laughs> I have paint on my arms and everywhere. <laughs> I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend or day because the weekend is over after today. Casey, do you work tomorrow? Yes, ma'am. I should be hopping on in the morning. Okay. Uh, I need a work on uh, when I plan on getting on in the morning, I need to work on getting that like scheduled and posting in the group so people can actually attend. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, but I should be popping on in the morning for a little bit. I think that one I'm going to leave because that one's pretty full. But yeah. Nobody else will answer the prayer gets me over okay. All right, I was sitting here talking and I was muted. I was wondering, like, you said something, and then, like, I answered, and then there was no response. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what happened. Something happened, but I don't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, it, it was me. I hit um, mute, or my computer said, that's enough talking. <laughs> something. Um, so you all check Casey out in the morning before he goes to work. He'll be on Miss Cat's Wednesday night. This cat's going to have um, Chiquita on tomorrow night. So check out Miss Cat. Don't forget to go over to Charlene. I have to do it myself. Check out our challenge for March. I got to get that done or I'm going to forget. <laughs> so make sure you check that out because we're all doing that together, I hope. Um. Sean and I will be selling Saturday and then the following Saturday, I'm not going to be on Casey. I will let you know about Sunday as soon as I find out. Um, Sounds good. So that'll be the 24th is going to be up in the air, kind of a last minute thing. So if I'm not here, make sure that you watch Casey's channel because he'll go on his channel. Yep. More than likely. Yep. Um, so I'm, I apologize. I just don't know how long my sister's going to be in the hospital. So we'll keep that. Um, yes, Leah, I, um, Casey and I was talking about that this morning. I haven't had time to even go over and figure out what the challenge is and write it down. So, um, we, I need to do that today. Uh, Charlene, you want to put in your uh, group, your Facebook group link real quick? Yes. 
That way, uh, some of the gals that are wanting to enter into that can uh, check it out. Because I've challenged everyone to go and do it. See, Brenda, here you go. This is your challenge. There we go, guys. Go check it out. I already have one bird piece done. And I just got to figure out what I'm supposed to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be fun. And I'll, I'll probably do some more bird things. Oh, big stretches. Yeah. To make sure everybody goes over and checks out Charlene. It's C. Ty, Diana. She has a Facebook group. We've all joined and she's doing a challenge. And I challenge everyone that comes on our Sunday mornings to do it with Casey and I. Brenda, your mind has been in the gutter all day. <laughs> Okay, and it's a uh, got caught a theme. Oh, got caught. Got caught a. Okay, gotcha. I had to think about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The first time I pronounced it, I was like, I think I just probably butchered that. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you go check that out. Um,. Go Kata. Oh, no go tea. Kata. Okay. Go Kata. Go Kata. It's your birthday. Go Kata. <laughs> so I'm going to figure <laughs> out what right my <laughs> um, challenge is supposed to be, and that's going to be my take with me to the hospital weekend stay in Nashville. So if anybody's in the Nashville area, let me know. We'll have lunch or dinner. There you go. That would be fun. That would be fun. All right, you all. We're going to say goodbye. I got stuff to do. I know Casey's got stuff he needs to do. Yep, yep. You That's all probably stuff have stuff to do. To do. <laughs> I'd much rather stay here and do this all day. Amen but to that one. Life happens. We're adults now, darn it. I don't know when that happened. <laughs> right. All right, you guys have a wonderful afternoon. We will hopefully see you during the week. See you at Charlene's channel so we can all check out our challenge. Um. Uh, have a good day. All right. Bye, friends. Bye, everyone.